We should be live. They should be able to see us and hear us. Hello, if you're in the channel, thanks for joining us. If you're not, no worries. If you're watching this later, we appreciate that too. Uh, we are Adventures in Lolly Gang. We're going to be playing some uh, Mutant New Zero again. This is two weeks in a row for us. So this is very exciting. Uh, we've been playing this game on and off for the past like five months or so. So uh, we get to continue it here. We're using the uh, Gen Lab Alpha system. Uh, it's from Free League Games. So if you're familiar with Mutant New Zero, you know that there's a couple different books that have come out. There's the original, there's Gen Lab, there's Mechatron, there's Elysium. We're using Gen Lab, and we are following the kind of the Escape from Paradise Valley storyline. And uh, yeah, so everyone you see on the screen, with the exception of myself, uh, they're playing different members of an animal resistance that is fighting a back against these robotic watchers that have kept them imprisoned for pretty much their their whole existences. Uh, they're within this beautiful valley called Paradise Valley, lush with vegetation, but also has all sorts of mutations and weirdness about it and robots that are very invasive. Uh, so uh, what uh, I figure last week we, we lost two new characters and this week we're going to be introducing two new characters. So we won't do a full uh, go round yet. So I'll say we'll, we'll go to the existing crew. And they have you guys can just say who you're playing, all that kind of such. And then Ashley and Derek, when the time comes, when your characters come on, into play, your new ones, uh, you know, we'll do it in game. So, uh, Long, we're going to start with you. Who are you playing? I am McCloud64, a fox from the dog tribe. I am McCloud64. I see your four as a youngin. And Pretty if they're just looking for. Yeah places you know if there's one physical thing that uh, people notice about you when they first see you what is it one well, physical my thing helicopter that... hat. use your helicopter hat yeah that's my figure your goofy little childlike helicopter hat perfect uh melissa you're next yes i am hamel 76 i am a um small literally an animal power of small uh little weasel um who is a burrower pretty good at hunting um, and her dream is to invent a new trap uh, that helps her tribe. Nice. Uh, and you've made a little progress in that here and there. So at some point, um, we'll probably say you're successful on it. And then you move on to a new dream, right? Uh, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. And when I get nervous, I run around and pick up grass and just spin in circles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does your character do, though? <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, yeah. last uh, but not least uh, is Logan. Uh, my name is Logan. I play the character Cujo31. I'm the group's backbone warrior frontline. Um, I, I come from the Badger tribe. I'm subtype Wolverine, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of my job is just to kind of protect everyone, try and take as much damage as I can while staying alive. Yeah, how'd that go last week, the whole protecting uh, everyone? I mean... I felt like I did a pretty good job of protecting people, but sure. you can only do so much, right? Yeah. How uh, did you take any damage? Um, I took two agility damage I'm during totally last session. I'm totally calling out Logan right now. <laughs> no, that's not your fault. That was a crazy situation. So that was uh, outside of like the normal front to back line fighting. Like front to back line fighting, I feel yeah. like is where Cujo really. I'm just saying excels. if. Uh... If our grenade was a little bit more well placed, we mm. wouldn't have had any casualties. Wow! So I don't know why. I don't know. Man. Yeah, I don't oh. know why you trust the elderly with the grenade. I mean, <laughs> I think you took out like I think you took out two, right? One or two, one, and then, one and then and died instantly. And then Helen, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So, so I took out two: one with the grenade, one with my one corpse. Yourself, yeah. <laughs> all right so uh so before we get started uh we play a bunch of other games on this channel uh so if you want to come back on monday you can watch melissa and I as we play through alien another free league game uh we also play over on the free league publishing channel uh like their official twitch channel you can catch that every other monday where we play Vessen over there and we sometimes on this channel play other things like electric bastion land uh and uh cobwebs something we did recently and i really want to get troika onto the uh onto the menu pretty soon here so that'll happen at some point and then we're on a bunch of other places like Zwyander RPG etc etc so that out of the way let's actually start playing F for Chai and his failed grenade so I'll say that 100 bits um, we can treat that as like I don't know we'll treat that as a re-roll at some point on any roll at any point and I'm saying that right now on any roll at some point tonight we're going to be doing a strategic turn the strategic turn is the is the place where you all have the worst luck with dice rolls. So you we might roll wanna, poorly. Might want to hold on. I was to that hoping we bits. forgot about that. Yeah. No, we did. I was hoping we forgot about the strategic turns. It's definitely necessary. 
Uh, oh, okay. Now we have two. <laughs> we have two rerolls now. Oh, and oh, Logan, you prime, you prime sub. Thank you, sir. Okay. We have a limited time to earn explosive Oh, units. hype mode. I honestly don't know what the hell <laughs> hype mode is. I'm so confused by it. It's understand. just like if you donate or gift subs or sub while this is happening, you can get emotes. Okay. Oh, okay. So you, like you're just like permanent emotes or is it like temp emotes? Yeah. Okay. No, they're permanent. Right. Oh, there's only four minutes left. Yeah, four minutes. Mm -hmm. We hit it the other day, actually. I can do, let's see, convert to recurring subscription. Now I already have my prime sub on my other account because I have like a, my own personal account, then I have this one. All right. Anyway, anyway, thanks for the bits. Thanks for the subs. Uh, all that kind of such. Uh, what do I got on my account? Do I have anything? Should I give myself rerolls? No. I think I should do that. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's pretty fun. Oh, look at that. 99%. We're almost, oh, we're there. Dear God, I can't give you guys twelve oh, rerolls. What's the point at that point? Uh, <laughs> no, that was that was just for the hype train. Oh, thank you, man. Awesome, sweet. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So we. Uh, oh, okay. All right, that's okay. All, all right. So that's only level one. There's multiple levels. So. Uh, yes. Yeah, so if you get if so we get like a big keep, group who donates, keep giving yeah. me your money, oh, players. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i know it's hard i know it's hard working in education right now it so. is uh oh i lost our, help you. our dice rolls uh oh where'd it go our dice roll window is now no longer no longer visible uh -oh. oh i know what i did i'm stupid there it is it should be up now there it goes okay go cool, go cool, cool. uh so uh let's actually get started um quick summary of last time so you all most recently, the last like major mission that you had prior to like story kind of getting in the way and, and you know, or, or story interrupting like your your normal resistance job uh, was to recruit a new cell at the reptile tribe of reptile habitat, which you were able to effectively do. Uh, but on on your way back to the helicopter, which is has been the resistance base as led by Truffaut, this old and grizzled and large uh, a large bear. Um, with an eye patch and with a with a like a biker vest and such, uh, he uh, he was taken, uh, and so you you made it back to the helicopter and you realize that the watchers seem to have discovered the location of that um, of that resistance base and dragged Truffaut away. Uh, you all made a deal with Wild Paul. Wild Paul was going to go and try to get reinforcements or go and try to stitch together the remnants, like whatever is remaining of the resistance out there, while you all try to go get Truffaut back because he is such a huge and important symbol to the movement of the resistance. Anybody who's in the resistance who knows of Truffaut um, is important. Truffaut is kind of like a whispered figure. He's a, he's a figure that doesn't doesn't really hang out in the bear tribe he used to be the leader of the bear tribe and now it's really kind of fallen to wild paul so you guys went on a crazy mission uh into the the belly of the beach you went you climbed down into the labyrinth first you had to climb all the way up a mountain to the peak cabin which is a revered and strange place no one really goes to uh, and you climbed down this long ventilation shaft that went down to a place called gen lab alpha and you explored a little bit of two levels, not fully. Um, and you know that there are other levels because in your in the process of your exploration, you found a little file folder that had like a, a map, it had a little photograph in it, both of which you can access, by the way, in the journal tab uh, under handouts. You can see the file folder for GenLab if you ever want to go back and look at that. Um, and you looked around and, uh, and you found a few things. In addition to Truffaut, uh, you managed to save a badger by the name of Hedgedook that some of you uh, I would say Cujo and Hamill already knew. Uh, you also discovered Hamill's brother Hamilton, who, from the very first uh, real episode of this uh, of, of this campaign, uh, was taken. Like that was like mm -hmm. the inciting incident for this whole story was Hamilton being. And taken. I got reminded about in every episode mm -hmm. how I failed in my duty to protect him. Yep. I mean, am I, I wrong? Did. Are we wrong? No. We... No. Okay. No. I just want to make sure. Uh, so. You, uh, you went ahead and you took him with you. You took Hedgeduck with you. Even though Hamilton clearly has been like lobotomized and really messed up in some way. And it doesn't really respond to stimuli the way that people might. You also found, as you were going through some of these cells that were down there, um, 
a rat by the by the name of Nero who came with you uh, also seemed to be a little out of it, unclear, uncertain, etc. Um, was able to point to like the cell with the big bear, however, and helped you out a little bit. Same with Hedgeduck. Uh, you found Largo, this uh, this old gorilla, like that was supposed to be like the up and coming uh, leader of the of the the ape tribe. Unfortunately, was captured during during a raid uh, a couple months back, and they had been sort of somehow controlled or taken over. You heard um, all throughout the time your time down in the in the labyrinth about some something something named Kronos. Hey, Quarity, how's it going? Uh, hey, Christopher, perfect timing, man. Uh, I'm not breaking character because this is just summary. We're just summarizing what has happened so far. So while you were down there in the labyrinth, you met a robot. Robots start talking about this 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 person named Kronos or this something named Kronos. And as you went to try to free Largo, Largo attacked and apologized the whole time and was crying. And eventually you like you you sadly had a killer. You did you did free Truffaut and you got Truffaut out. But as you were climbing out. Uh, as you were climbing up out of the uh, uh, out of the actual ventilator shaft, you um, you lost two of your own, uh, as both uh, both Helena uh, and Tchaikovsky were shot as just tons and tons of drones started chasing up after you all and managed to take them out. Uh, so sadly, we lost two. And on your way up, uh, we'll say you managed to get past. Oh, I gotta shoot you. You managed to get past all of like the different fans and such, and we're gonna pick up right as you all crest over the edge of the ventilation shaft. You're on the mountain now, and you you have a moment to catch your breath. You start counting up everyone who's there, and so I'll just remind you of all the because you have several NPCs with you. So I want to make sure that you all are aware. Truffaut is with you. We'll say Truffaut is probably carrying uh, Hamilton. Um, and we've you've got Nero, this rat who seems really confused and doesn't really know where he's at, but is is able to move on on his own accord. Uh, you've got Ringo as well, uh, who seems really sad and sort of dejected. He keeps looking back down the ventilation shaft, maybe for his his lost reptile friend. Um, and you've got Hamilton, uh, and then there's the three of you, and there's also Hedgeduck. So there's about eight of you here. Uh, and you are up at the top of this mountain. There's kind of snow all over the place. Uh, it's windy up here. Um, it's kind of chilly, but not like overly chilly. Remember, it's still just springtime, but it's the top of a mountain. And you're, you're taking a breath. You know that they're dead. You know that they fell. Or at least you know that they fell. And you can hear the sounds of drones coming up below from the shaft. So what do you all want to do? Those of you who are alive in there. When we come out is it daytime or nighttime uh it is daytime you guys you guys climbed down here in the morning and so you were down there for i would say several hours but it's probably still before sunset okay so you can hear the sounds of more drones stirring down that ventilation shaft which is a few hundred yards down but you can hear them um, and you know that you're not completely out of the woods because you're on top of a mountain somewhat exposed there is the peak cabin nearby um yeah i remember there being a cabin up here mm -hmm. maybe i'll provide some cover if possible there's eight of us i don't know if that's if there's enough room uh there's enough room for all eight of you in there it's just a question of whether or not when they arrive would they check the cabin okay we'll see if we can uh, quickly hide how open is this shaft can we like obscure it in any way or close it or it's about 10 about 10 yards in diameter so no um, yeah, so I like guess there's, just move towards the cabin. Yeah, there's a grate and stuff on it. Like there's a grate and stuff at the top you can see, but like it's if that if that grate were blown out, it would be about ten yards in diameter. All right. Yeah, I I'm not big enough to pick up a boulder and put it on top. So okay. So all of you then start rushing over to the cabin. Run. Okay. Yeah. So as you're rushing towards the cabin, you get inside. Um, and you look around and remember that this place was it's, it's, it hasn't really been used in a ridiculous amount of time. Like there's a couch that's sort of covered in dust. There were a couple other bits of furniture. There were some what you all would know were like sets of skis and poles and such. Um, and there's like maybe one bedroom, a fireplace that hasn't been used in forever. And then what looked like a bathroom as well. Um, but you all are looking for places to, to hide inside. Um, 
go ahead and roll. Uh, you can go ahead and roll some tests here. Um, there's what three of you? Yeah, three of you can roll sneak tests, and I'm not gonna make the NPCs roll. They'll they'll go off of your rolls. It's gonna be rough. Yeah. Ugh. My agility is low, and I don't have any points in sneak. Oh <laughs> yeah, my gosh. low too. Computer. Okay. Uh, you rolled eight dice to a fart. Whole, how do we roll ten dice and none of them were a success? Uh, I can look up, like, they do. The wonderful thing about Freelig is they actually include the dice statistics in here somewhere. So for, like, how how many dice you roll, what are your chances of getting a six, that type of thing. Um, okay, does pushes, right? anybody wants to push? Yeah, I'll push it. Go for it. Two ones and you die? <laughs> <laughs> No. All right. Remind me how to push. You just on your character sheet, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's the yeah. push button. Oh, easy well. mode. And then Melissa can give you one. Okay. So uh, just remember it's contested, by the way. It's Sneak versus their <laughs> scout. So don't. Yeah. But you all hurry over and kind of dive into the cabin. You split up. Some of you kind of hide and crouch down underneath the fireplace. Some of you kind of tip, you know, maybe move the the couch into the corner and hop behind it some of you dive under the remains of the bed hide in the closet that type of thing so everyone's sort of spreading out you have a 12 foot tall bear with you that's difficult um to hide and uh after about about three minutes four minutes you hear the sounds of drones uh you're very familiar at this point with them uh, as they come roaring out of the ventilation shaft and you can hear on megaphones you can hear this sort of computerized voice uh, calling for you all to sort of to show yourselves and to, mit, to submit yourselves for punishment uh, after what you've done. And so you can hear this kind of echoing outside. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and roll. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll their, um, their scout to see if they actually are able to see or hear any of you. So, okay, all right. So I did in fact roll it, it's a little hidden. Here's another one, okay. So you can hear uh, as like there's, there's the megaphones that are happening, they're kind of going crazy. Uh, but then moments, uh, moments later, um, you see that these lights are beginning to illuminate the windows and you can see spotlights that are being shined down into the cabin itself. Uh, you can you can kind of get the sense that there are some that are hovering around, and every one of the, the ways into the cabin itself have a light coming out of them. Um, what do you all want to do? You don't get the sense that you've been undetected, and like, you just keep hearing the repeat from the megaphone as like, give, submit yourselves for punishment. Submit yourselves for punishment over and over and over again. So how many things are we looking at fighting right now? It's just the drones. Go ahead and roll a scout test if you want to take a try to take a peek and see what's out there. Because you guys did run inside, so you wouldn't have seen immediately. Okay. With success. You, uh, when you look out, you can see that there, one, two, three, four, five, you start counting them up. There's at least five drones out here. And they're all hovering fairly high off the ground and they're just shining lights into you and they're you can see every time one of them goes to use the megaphone there's a little mechanism at the base of the drone itself that just sort of lights up uh, so Hamill will kind of notify everyone else that that's kind of what we're dealing with that there's there's five out there um you're gonna run just wants us to sit up posture check already Oh, goodness. Okay. So you have a choice. Isn't it great? Isn't that mustache great, Justin? Look at him. Look at that guy. It's beautiful. Too Longley? No, yours. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We can't see Longley. He's, too, he's, in, he's in his shadow. Uh, I don't know. We're all kind of beat up a little bit. Fighting yeah. is a bit risky. We'll just stay uh, in cover until they actually come by or do something about it because okay. I can't just run out there. Um, Hamill's yeah. going to whisper that her concern is that they will be joined by sentinels at some point. Yeah, so it won't just be drones. My concern so as well. 
if they you think they know, have us surrounded, they'll call in for reinforcements. You would know that the Sentinels probably can't get up that ventilation shaft, but yeah, that's at, but... at some point, your instincts are probably right. <clears throat> so, if you're waiting around doing nothing, uh, all the other NPCs are sort of looking to you. Truffaut is willing to like talk this out, um, but you look around and you can see that there's there's those ski things as well. But unfortunately, you start counting up all the people in here, and there's not enough. There's only like like six of them and there's eight people in here yeah um, so what does Truffaut think can we ask him i mean Truffaut, he's got like did you give his revolver back longley yeah but they gave it back again so we're just like passing okay. it back and forth. <laughs> okay it's like competating it i mean Truffaut, like says like you know we could you can make a run like we can make a run for it we could take a stand like if you say that there's only five of them they outnumber them they outnumber you all and so like he's um and the question is, is, is can you out, can you outrun them? And that would be tricky. That would be hard to do. Like, so. Can Truffaut ride skis? Literally waiting, but he would say like literally waiting here and hiding is not going to do anything. All of the, I mean, like it, it's just a matter of time. So either, either we attack now or we make a run for it. Those are the options. I would say make a run for it because we do have some small people. I mean, technically Hamill is small. Um, Kudro is also technically small, so we can probably do some piggyback skiing if we need to okay to stretch the number of skis across the number of people that we have okay you want to use the skis okay that's there's snow that's... up towards the top of the mountain so you're okay there at a certain point it does turn the rock but you're okay at the very top at the very least it's something that at least provides a little bit of when speed the, yeah. for us. when life hands you lemons ski down the mountain right sure uh, all right, so who's who is who is wearing the skis and who is hopping on the back of people wearing the skis? How are we determine? Himmel this? would be on on the back or neck of someone. Okay, right. being skied. Okay, so Truffaut is is awkwardly <laughs> putting on these 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 skis, which barely fit, can't barely, uh, and you can hop on the back of him. That's fine, and so he'll probably just like strap him to his feet because his feet don't actually fit into the skis. <laughs> And he looks at so there's you enough all. For six of us? There's enough for six, yeah. He looks yeah, at everybody I'll else. He's like, her. "Not a word of this to anyone." <laughs> <laughs> the poles can always be used as like projectiles if you have to like throw a ski pole at a drone. All the while, like you can hear like a countdown beginning to like you have twenty oh, seconds crap. to comply. In that twenty seconds, I want to strap up and start sliding. Okay. All right. So everyone puts on some snow skis. Okay. So you got your snow skis on, you got your poles. Um, so there's six people. Uh, I think one other person needs to be on someone's shoulders. By Can my... we just do Hamill? Hamill's on one. Yeah, Hamill's one. Or Hamilton. Gonna... Could do Hamilton. Um, is some... Are you going to carry Hamilton? Yeah, why not? Okay. I don't know. I was just asking. <laughs> okay. So You better. <laughs> you all... Oops, I lost him on the way down. You Sorry. Are... You're all going to go ahead and then just burst out and try to make a run for it as best you can. So this we'll do it this way. Go ahead, everyone roll a move test, uh, and we'll see who gets going yeah. faster and who is in the back and gets the brunt of the... Two. Do the skis give a gear bonus? Uh, they do, <laughs> actually. They give... Hang on, I just had it up a second ago. I think it's like a plus three. Um pretty sure i think it was a i think it was a plus three uh i think the items actually in the uh in the system if you want to look up in the artifact folder there should be slalom gear um looking 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 i think it's let's just call it plus three plus three is plus three so yeah just give yourself plus three. Oh jesus i got two successes i've got None. It's my plus three. Two fails. So okay. I literally can't push or else I'll die. Okay. I think I have four total successes, I believe. Yeah, I've got four total successes. Right. Although I'm also, like, I'm assuming I'm rolling for the person. Yeah, carrying. so you and Truffaut. Like, you and Truffaut yeah. together. Truffaut, so... it looks awkward, but is kicking ass at this. Yeah, he's a, a, definitely. He's a boss. So <laughs> the two of you burst out immediately out of the actual. Uh, initial cabin and you you take the lead and you're like the you're just bursting through and immediately the drones are shouting halt halt animal submit yourself to nope submit submit yourself as you just 
burst right past. <laughs> I said, submit yourself. And you start going sort of down the hill a bit. Um, who who had other successes? Let's see. Who else we got? Were you I would like to imagine I'm um, sort of like like on his shoulders, kind of like talking on his ears, like having him like go a little this way and this way to like avoid like trees and stuff. So as you all burst out, you look up and you can see that they are nowhere near the ground. They are a good 20 to 30 feet up into the air and they're all kind of hovering. They got their spotlights on you a bit um, as you start moving around and you can see that they're and they're switching out some of their, like their attachments uh, for some of their lasers and they're threatening to fire. Um, and they're going to go ahead and take a shot at, uh, I'm not, I'm going to say that Truffaut and Hamill kind of get out in front and out of the way, but they're going to take a shot at both McLeod, uh, and at Cujo as you go flying out. Um, so each one of you will get one attack in your direction. Uh, so first one will be on Cujo. Uh, so Cujo, uh, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to make We do that. also have all those rerolls that we bought ourselves Sorry. to. That's supposed to be... Not worth using yet. It's supposed to be public. Okay, so it should be visible now. Here we go. Uh, okay, so that's three successes <gasps> on Kujo. Oh, damn. Uh, and is, then... this, is this physical, or is this a... Uh... What do you mean, physical? Like, is this a agility attack or a strength attack? This is... Uh, well, they're shooting lasers. Uh, so lasers themselves... Uh, I think lasers actually, yeah, lasers do damage, damage, and uh, okay. tasers are the ones that do fatigue, damage, fatigue. Uh, so you can, if you want, try to sort of dodge, like you can try to dodge out of the way if you want to try to look like you're roll some sort of defense. But it's um, it's since it's a range attack, you don't, I don't think you're getting the benefit. Yeah, I don't think you get the benefit of like your stone wall and stuff like that. I think that's all for melee or close combat. Uh, I'm double, double probably. Check gonna roll small okay so i'm probably just gonna oh man yeah i'll do three i'll use three fp okay to tr to negate all three successes okay so, so let's try out this new i don't have to technically so roll first the effect first you yet. just have to roll 3d6s and if any okay. of them come up one then you have to roll the table i think we're good you know, one nope, one of them came up one, so roll Fuck. roll the feral I effect saw. table. Alrighty, here we go. And don't forget, by the way, Hamill still can't talk. That's why I'm tugging on ears to okay. direct him. Alright. Oh my animal side is completely suppressed and your human side takes over. This means you lose all your, your feral points and are unable to gain more. Uh you can push uh -oh. you can push his usual... greatest weakness. Yeah. So can't dominate. Yeah. Didn't somebody get this last time too? I think someone got this last time. That's yeah, familiar. I don't know who was it. Right? Wait, what was that? I think someone got it last time. Uh, I don't know. We can scroll all the way up, but I'm pretty sure someone got it. But whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Uh, but yeah, you lose all your feral points, um, but you do manage to get rid of the the damage. So, um, then the next one will go ahead and take a shot at McLeod as he's running away. Also three successes on oh the cloud. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, not crazy time. He didn't go, he just lost, he just, he's basically can't use any of his animal powers and feral points and stuff. But just turn into a human for a little bit. He's basically a furry human <laughs> right now. All right, McLeod, three at you. What do you want to do? Anything you want to, anything you have? <laughs> what kind of damage again? This is straight up damage. Straight up damage. I'll have the furry here. Okay. And block one. Okay, so you pop your furry, and then you go ahead and take the rest of it as damage. Um, it's actually still going to... So is it, does your furry block damage, or does it cancel successes? It just negates one. One damage or one Reduce success? Reduced by one. Okay. Yeah. You're still going to end up taking three damage. Because the, the base damage for the laser is two, and you're canceling one success, which leaves me one stunt. Because I have three successes, which means it's going to do three damage to you. What kind of damage? Like strength or agility? I this think is said it earlier. this is regular damage. This is damage damage. So agility damage is fatigue. So this is damage. Okay. Oh, that breaks me. Okay. Uh, so you go. So you start tumbling. So as as a cloud starts flying out and trying to chase after Hamill and Truffaut, you get about 
you get about 30 yards away from the uh, the actual peak cabin, and then you feel something just shoot you from behind, and you get hit. Go ahead and roll the critical injuries and see how you do. Rest in peace, McLeod, as well. Yeah. There are a couple... I think there are... There's like, couple instant deaths but go in the roll ta rollable tables and just hit the hit the critical injuries roll when you pop out the pop out Ooh. go all the way that's down lethal the bottom, there's a roll button okay yeah he's got it so now you can drag, and now you can drag two minutes yeah all right and so you all so i'll say i'll say some of you probably noticed this as you look around and you can see that mcleod just took a brutal uh shot to his arm and a big splurt of blood flies all over the place and just decorates the, the the white snow the contrast is like is pretty noticeable and you can see Could him just do a barrel roll you just see him go boom, 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 just kind of tumble and theatrically what's going to happen is he tumbles 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 and you can see him slam into these furry dark black legs and as the camera pans up we see two apes standing there decked out kind of looking like they're on their way up the mountain uh so what do they look like ashley and derek derek so um my character uh is probably the best dress that he could be he's got um very ragged dress slacks uh very worn dress shoes where like his toes stick out the front He's got like a gray dress shirt with the sleeves rolled up to his elbows and then like a black vest on. Nice. And he's got a little medical pouch like you're like a very stereotypical doctor. Okay. Uh, one from the cartoons with a okay. big plus sign on it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Love it. Love it. Uh, and then, it's a red cross. And but then, yeah, yeah. Plus sign works too. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ashley, uh, what does yours look like standing uh, just a couple steps to the side? She's a huge silverback gorilla. And um, she's wearing an army vest, but it's got like hand sewn like pockets on it everywhere, like pink, you know, extra pockets, whatever. Um, she's wearing like Doc Martin combat boots, and nice. then she's decked in homemade jewelry, which is like forks, spoons, whatever weird stuff she's found. And um, she's carrying like a rickshaw behind her and a very large purse on her shoulder <laughs> a rickshaw that had to be hell getting it up this mountain yeah uh okay so it's a little broken and janky but okay. you know so as the two of you have been working your way up the mountain for reasons that we'll get into later um the the sudden swarming of drones attracted your attention and you came to kind of strangely enough to investigate and that's when, as you just come up a little bit of a rise, you can see this small fox just starting to tumble ass over tea kettle, these long metallic spokes like sticking off of his feet, and he's just looking all over the place, covered in blood, lands right at your feet. And I think at this point, let's go ahead and roll a true initiative, and we'll go from there, now that everybody's actually in this. Um, so let me throw everybody out. Oh. So there's a other cool thing uh, now that we've gotten some work done on the uh, on the actual foundry thing is that I have the ability to just put um, everyone in and roll your initiative all at the same time and it automatically goes onto the table, which is great. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and add you all there and then let's roll everybody. Uh, I think one was a silverback gorilla, and what were you again, Derek? What was what kind of animal are you? What I was, you? yeah, I was also a silverback gorilla. Okay, so we're both silverback gorillas. Perfect. All right, all right. So we are going to go ahead and get into initiative. Um, so first up in this initiative is one of the drones, um, and so with everyone kind of breaking and going and trying to get out of this this cabin and get away. Um, you can see that the drones begin to scatter a little bit. One, a couple seem to be going out, off towards McLeod and where these these new apes are. 
Um, you see one of them is chasing desperately as they can after Truffaut and Hamill who have burst out up into the front. Uh, and you can see others are lingering and kind of focusing more on some of the NPCs like Ringo and, and Hedgejuk and such who are not moving as quickly. So in terms of in terms of the players and which what are, what are being tacked, um, uh, one of them, the first one, is going to go ahead and it's going to chase after Hamill and it's going to chase after... Um, after Truffaut, and I'm going to go ahead and take a shot. I'm going to go 50-50 on whether or not this targets Truffaut or Hamill. So okay. one, one to three, it'll be... Actually, I'm going to say one to two, it'll be Hamill, because you're so small. And four to six, it'll be him. So it'll be Truffaut that this attack will actually end up targeting. Mm. And so he rolls, shoots, hits Hamill. You you hear Truffaut go... Grr! And you can see that there's a hole that has just been burned through the back of his little biker vest. Uh, and you can see a little singe of, uh, of, or a little plume of smoke come out and a squirt uh, of like little blood uh, just erupt as you look below. Um, he doesn't seem to tumble. He's a big giant bear after all. And, but you hear him kind of grump uh, uh, you know, in pain. Um, the next one is gonna go ahead and charge uh, in the direction of like Hedgeduck, who is, who is currently on and he'll go ahead and fire at the uh at the badger that you all saved uh will also succeed uh only does uh, the two damage but you can see immediately hedge duck is already off balance and looking like mm. he might fall um so i think i actually no i'm sorry hamill and penrose you actually should have gone before i did the second one so hamill uh you're next after okay. you're just getting shot so i'll save the other one for later okay um i would just load load and shoot my sling Okay, so I'll say you can go ahead and do that because like, you're being moved by Truffaut, so you can, with your maneuver, load up your sling and you want to take a shot um, at the one that's chasing you. Go ahead. Uh, I have a success, so that's one damage. Okay. Uh, these actually have armor, so I'm going to roll my armor. Crap. Uh, yeah, you, you take a look at these, and that's going to go ahead and block uh, the damage as you can see that your stone harmlessly bounces off of it. Um, you take a moment to look at these, by the way, now that you've had a chance. And these look a little different than the Jerons that you're normally used to. These look a little bit more heavily armored. They look a little bit like they have weapons that are a little bit more noticeable and pronounced. They also seem to move a little bit more slowly and don't have like the same kind of rapid change of, of maneuverability mm. that some of the other ones. So, like, they're a heavier version of these, but they're definitely a little bit different. Uh, I'll have to use my Hunter Instincts next time. And then uh, Penrose, you are next. So McLeod, or I guess this furry creature that's bleeding, tumbled into me. Yeah. So you see just down on the ground in front of you, there is this poor little fox whose arm looks nearly sh shot off. Okay. Um, at this height on the mountain, are there any trees of any kind that provide, like, cover? Uh, not so much trees, but there's rocks and things. Yeah, you can get rocks and okay. things. Okay. So if I'm able to do this, I'd like to use my movement to get behind cover, um, okay. and then I'll use a heal on the injured one. Okay. Um, are you looking to move? You probably have to move him with you. Yeah, I don't know if that's allowed or not. Well, why don't we say this? Why don't we say your action is to sort of like pick him up and your maneuver is to move him. So the two of you will get the benefit of cover, but you'll have to do the heal check on the next turn. Is that okay? <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. So you'll move him out of, into cover. Both of you can have the effect of cover on your on your on your on the upcoming turns, and then would my uh, jump ability help at all with that? Since I can jump fifteen feet high or thirty feet across the ground, I don't know if that would like. I don't know if adding an animal power makes that work out differently. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's more of a it's more of a case of like your action is either rolling a check or it's using an animal power. So if you want to say, oh, you know okay. what I mean. So, so it's the it's the picking up McLeod, right? So I, the, okay. I was I was giving you like a free success on just like the force to move him. Like I can make you roll it, or we can say you use your jump power. So which one do you prefer? Uh, it's fine to just use the like not use the animal power since I've only got the two points. Okay. All right. So I mean, you can roll the force check then. Yeah. Uh, to uh to drag him with you and uh get you both behind cover <laughs> i'm a gorilla great first roll <laughs> that's, that's pedro's first roll uh okay so you drag him and both uh you and mcleod are now in cover uh all right so then next up it's going to be the drone that shot at the at the badger uh, so that's already gone through and then the other drone this one's following cujo um this one's going to go ahead and take a shot uh as well up in the sky, uh, down at Cujo. 
uh, one success, uh, which is two damage. These lasers base damage is two. I'm gonna roll my armor. Okay. Did you not roll that last time you got hit? I just used small. Okay. Um. I think you can still roll armor though, even with small. Oh no, you you canceled all the attacks. That's right. Oh. Okay. So, well. So the helmet's reduced. Uh, the bonus is reduced to two, uh, because of that. Uh, and you take your two points of damage. Okay. Um, then. Next up, it'll be Bassy. That's what you did. Or is it Bassy? Would you, would you want again? Uh, Bassy. Bassy. Okay, so Bassy, you're up next. What do you want to do? Uh, let's let's try my animal um, power. Okay. Uh, you have to describe how this works. Yeah. Your animal okay. power or your mutant power? My mutant power. That's what I thought. Ooh. So... Uh oh, does it have to be a living being or can I cast it on the drone? Which one do you have? You have pyrokinesis. Pyrokinesis. I think pyrokinesis is just fire attack, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. We have it. All, all of that stuff. Set fire to a flammable inanimate inanimate object as well, so that works. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll say that's fine. Yeah, I mean you could. Yeah, you can definitely get some it's flammable. part yeah you can get some part probably not the metal outsides but there's other parts that you can see that are more sensitive that might be able to burst into flames but yeah yeah so how do i roll this uh so just a d6 you make a so it's per damage you don't have to roll anything you just have to burn your your feral slash mutation points so how many points do you have i have two okay so you can burn them both and it would do two damage um Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so then, because you're um, because you're activating a mutation, you now have to. So mutations are very similar to the feral abilities, like for animals. Mm -hmm. uh, they unlike feral effects, they have misfires. So whenever you kind of burn your mutation points, uh, go ahead and roll to see if you uh, get. So roll two d sixes and see if you get any ones. Hey, Grouch Couch. Hey, Grouch Couch. How's it going, man? Uh, pretty good. I have killed two two characters last time. Feel like I'm about to wipe the rest of the party here in a second. I oh, one. <laughs> she rolled really? a one. Oh, we got a mutation misfire off already. Strong. Our first okay. mutation, and it's already a misfire. So nice. in the rollable table section, wow. there is a mutation misfire. I'm table. ready. So go ahead and pop that. See what happens. Uh, there's no available results which can be drawn from this table. Uh, hang Wait. On. Hang on. Could we use one of our bits to re-roll the mutation dice, or is that not allowed? Absolutely. Any one of those things is fine with me. Yes. Uh, it's up to you, Bassie. I think we have, like, three re-rolls. What do you misfires do? I could light my friend on fire. So so you could... They're uh, not our friends yet. So <laughs> I mean, you could you. suffer a personal... <laughs> you, oh. can, you, can, you can suffer a, a permanent trauma, which means you will permanently lose one point in one of your skill, one of your attributes. You okay. could suffer the effect of the mutation that you're using. Uh, you could consume twice the amount of M of of, uh, of points. Um, you could uh, the mutation could get locked down um, for the rest of the session, so you wouldn't be able to use it again. Uh, or you could change your appearance in some way, or it could become supercharged. Um, I'll try it. I'll see what happens. You're gonna roll it can it always fire. become supercharged. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and roll that. Well, it should I should work get now. burned. The table should work now. Go ahead. Yeah, it'll just supercharge. It'll proc you. That's all. Uh, it's still giving me a... All right, let me do it. There are no available... Oh, I see what the problem is. That's my bad. All right, there it goes. Oh, okay. Yay, you got it. And uh, I'll... Or do we want to use yours? I had I had hit the button for you and gave you the supercharged one, but then first? Ashley... I'll, I'll take that. I don't know. Ashley rolled it, so... <laughs> first that might have been okay. So the mutation... So the mutation gets supercharged. You get back the two, uh, two mutation points you just spent, and then you can, you can immediately, in the same turn, activate the same mutation again against the same target. So you just did two damage to this target. Do you what want a to badass. Do, do you want to do two more? Do you want to burn him again? 
Yeah, let's go. Okay, so you spend two more mutation points and you try <laughs> and you to roll two more d6. Do you have two more mutation points? To she spend? got them refunded. Well, it's oh, part of they get refunded. Okay, yeah. So you burn them again, and so roll the two d6s to see if you get any. Oh, oh, that's one. Is it? Yep. Well, it's, it's it. you roll okay. a total of three. So hit the table again. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Jeez, this is a glass cannon. <laughs> So your mutation runs amok and you suffer one point of permanent trauma. You can choose okay. which one of your attributes, but this is permanent, meaning it's not okay. a temporary reduction. Go ahead. And yeah. At the same time not a new mutation. At the same time you develop a new mutation. And mutations okay, are that's cool. That's random. I could get a new mute I you, could get a new in, mutant power. Yeah, yeah. No, you do. You do it randomly though. That's fine. So go ahead and hit the random table and see what you get. So the table's in there as well. Okay. You get frog legs. <laughs> Ew! Nice. Oh my gosh, you're not fair. <laughs> She's a gorilla she's, with she's frog gorilla. legs. This is nasty. She's it's Gross. so it's, it's sort of like jumper so in a way. Yeah. Okay, so you are a you are a silverback gorilla, and you have <laughs> frog legs. Okay. I just imagine legs. some like, I like cartoony think like they're just geez. like just beefy frogs. Honestly, this yeah. is this is gonna be super good for fighting drones and stuff. Though. I I agree. You have two jumpers here. Hey, Tombstone, thank you for the sub, man. How's it going? He's here to oh, witness me get weird so legs. Ashley's new character <laughs> just cast like this pyrokinesis on these flying drones and grew frog legs because of it. So, you know. I was about to say, this is like, I just imagine some like really bad Photoshop where it just makes like a sound and they just pop frog legs onto a bear. So did I do, I did gorilla. three damage then? You did, uh, you did four damage. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so you did four damage, which actually is enough to send the one that you were targeting creating down and exploding on the ground you just took one out uh how did this look by the way to anyone who was looking on what did this the what did this what did the casting of your pyrokinesis uh mutation okay. actually so you know like? like the i dream of genie or whatever that is where she like wiggles her nose yes. that's what yeah. she does okay but but she just crosses her arms but like her nose is like doesn't wiggle at it's all it's a big old tries, gorilla nose yeah it's great she tries real hard and then yeah, and then it lights something <laughs> on fire. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oppy trails. It's nice. Uh, all right. So you do take one out. So that's great. So uh, the one that was chasing after you and uh, well, chasing after McLeod has actually been dealt with. Oh, excellent, excellent first impression so far for the two uh, the two apes. Um, okay. Are we Way not going to gonna talk about how like I fall to the ground and then suddenly my legs are erupted and replaced with weird frog legs? <laughs> so I mean, we won't I, talk about that. What I like to think it's like you're 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 concentrating so hard to use this this power and all of a sudden just like you just feel this intense sh like this intense pain overwhelm you and you fall down you're like almost having a seizure and you look down and your legs are just like shifting and shedding all of the f all of the fur is now gone off your legs I was about to say oh. you were like wow it's really cold from the waist down <laughs> and it's just wow, nothing wow I don't have to shave anymore and you just, How oh nice. god there you go I like the silver lining that's nice silver lining thank you for the bits too so thank you man. uh that's another reroll so you guys are up to you guys are back up Oh, you're actually up to four because you never ended up using it. Right. Yeah. I am wearing a baseball hat. I really need a haircut, man. I, I seriously need to get a haircut. It's it's rough right now. Just shave your head, man. I I am really tempted. I used to do that when I was younger. It's been a while. I'm Electric afraid. trimmer with like just a just a edger yeah. on. Yeah. Oh no, no I have one. I worry though. I'm getting old. I feel like there's a couple patches. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't realize I was. I'll get a mohawk. We'll see. Get a mohawk. That's a good idea, Adam. I don't want to encroach on uh, on uh, encroach on Adam's uh, territory. He just had one too over on uh, Grim Perilous. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's probably fair, Tombstone. <laughs> she probably does not want me to get a mohawk. Uh, all right. Oh no, it wasn't the mohawk. It was the just the bicket thing. Okay, was, so I'm gonna say one of the drones is dead. The other drone will now go ahead and start targeting. Uh, who is left? Uh, Go ahead and do kind of a random thing here. If I get, uh, if I get a five or a six, uh, I'll target a player. Otherwise, it'll target like Ringo or um, or Nero. Yeah, kill Ringo. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and target Nero. I think I forgot. This is anti-reptile sentiment coming from Cujo. They are warring. Oh, that's fair. Okay, <sighs> excellent RP, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Nero, oh, Nero God. just gets blown the hell up absolutely blown the hell up as you see dead. this no they're not dead they still i'm still gonna roll but you can see that they 
uh, they get blown up as well, and they're going to get a punctured lung as they take a huge I'm just one shot doctor. <laughs> and just go stumbling to the ground. This is ugly. He's got uh, a few days. Four he days. He has a few days. Okay. Two, okay, yeah, that's true. Four days versus two minutes. And then, Cujo, it is your turn. What would you want? What do you want to do here? <laughs> Can I even reach any of these things? Uh, no, they are very smartly staying well out of yeah. range of you all. Uh... So, unless you want to figure out a way to bait them down. Yeah, I really... I'm not sure. I, I would feel very bad if I just, like, hid. But I don't know what else I can do at this point. Pretend to submit. Is Yeah, can I, like, just take cover? Absolutely, yeah. So Burrow? It's a maneuver to take cover. I can't cover. use animal powers. Oh, yeah. that's right. You take cover. You still got an action. Anything you want to do? I remember an action is uh, is any, you know... You, it's mostly attack. It's mostly in combat. It's usually an attack, or it's it's animal yeah. Power. But if there's something else that you can think of that might make sense, I'm I'm down for that. I'll probably just use a healing potion, I guess. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Use an item. So just go go go. Go ahead. Uh, it should be a d6. Uh, oops, I didn't. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, just roll a d6, and it should be good. Oh, I just mentioned Adam, <laughs> and look who shows up. Wait, <laughs> why did? that pop up under mcleod I uh i think him. i think you all are like maybe assigned to different characters we'll figure it out later um but you get one one health back all right uh and then mcleod it is your turn uh you are still broken not much you can really do um please don't bleed on me broken is only movement right I can't uh, do anything else yeah you can't you can crawl is basically all you can really do when you're i'll just wiggle in Rose's arms. Okay. <laughs> Feed me. Daddy, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, you've, you've lost a lot of blood. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the one that was chasing after Hamill and Truffaut, um, I think we're, it's going to attempt another. So, again, five to six, it'll be Hamill. Uh, it's a six, and so this shot will actually affect Hamill. Uh uh, and misses. So, Hamill, you are small enough that it does seem to miss, and then it'll be your turn. Um, and you're still you're still moving. Truffaut hasn't stopped, so you two are still going. So, I'm assuming that he is just burning his turn, moving and moving. Um, at one and during, we'll say during his turn, he's just like he's like vest pocket, vest pocket. And I look in his vest pocket, and there is a revolver. Don't forget, you have the MP rifle. Unfortunately, there's no E pack. Uh, so yeah. it's, it's like you burnt it out, but there is a revolver in there. Oh, well, let me go find the revolver over here. Yeah, it's in the artifact. It should be an so artifact. That I can shoot it. Hey, Jen, it's gone. Revolver, drag onto my sheet. So that yeah, Adam, someone suggested it. I should get a mohawk. I think it was Gratch Gratch said I should get a, a mohawk, and Melissa didn't like that idea. Do you want to push? I was fine with the mohawk. I said no to the shaving. Do you want um. to burn? You can also burn one of your rerolls, by the way. So, yeah, I'll burn a reroll. Burn a reroll. So, so what I heard is Melissa wants you to have the mohawk. That's what I heard too. <laughs> there we go. That's Decision a bad made. Bad reroll. How are these rolls? Well, we got three more. We had four total. So, um, if you want to burn, remember. if you want to burn them, go ahead. These, these I mean, you have nine nine dice. Later. If you want to, I don't mind. I don't mind if you want to keep burning them. What's going to happen though? I'm not calling it a push. I'm calling it a reroll. It's like a free reroll. You have three free rerolls. Oh. All right, I'll You've take one You've already used more. one, so you have three left. You want to do another one? I'll do one more. Okay, go for it. So just re-roll the attack. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me go back to my gear. Surprising Cover. high man. Yeah, I would think they would be kind of high maintenance, yeah. All right, we've rolled 27 dice and got one success. Let me do some math real quick. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you cool with that? Do you want to push it? Uh, Push it. Push oh, it. Real good. Push it would keep that, but if you're re-rolling, meaning you're re-rolling all the dice. So if you're burning a re-roll, you're starting But the problem is it's definitely going to injure the gun, right? Yep. It's going to It is. hurt the gun. We can always buy a um, new gun. You can always repair it, too. No, because Chai is dead. There's there's NPCs in the world that you can consult. Yeah, there's multiple places we can. <laughs> yeah, I just, just reminding me that our mechanic died. Who? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Derek's not used to this. I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like the rough salt in the room. 
Uh, okay, Melissa, you gotta make a choice. Yeah, I was gonna actually. Um... <laughs> Uh, it's too late. I, I, I meant to do Hunter Instincts, and then I totally got distracted by the fact that I got a gun. Do you want to push? Uh, yes. Okay, push it. Okay, take one point of fatigue, and you still only do two damage to it. Uh, it's going to go ahead and roll its armor uh, to see if it gets through. It blocks uh, one uh, of the damage, uh, and then the armor will actually go down to five. Uh, but it does take one point of damage, and this is the one that's on Hamel. Okay. All right, so then next up, uh, it's going to be Penrose. Uh, do you want to make that heal test now to try to, to stop him from being broken? Or to stop him uh, from dying, like the to save him and such? He's got two minutes to die. Or do you want to let him die? I'm okay, Penrose, if you want to let him die, too. That's totally fine. Um, Looking... So looking at the surgeon skill, do I add that plus two in as a bonus or does it automatically do it? I don't uh, know. It's not automatically it doing. You're going to have to add it. Okay. In. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. So yeah, I'm going to roll a heal. You to take it down. No, no, no. There's a space when you bring up now in this system, there's a modifier. Oh, the modifier? Oh, yeah, perfect. Just, oh, okay. beautiful. Yep. So you never have to screw with your stats. All right. We got 10 dice coming in. And so I'm like okay, okay. cradling this poor little. I'm thinking two successes. I think you're going to get two successes off of this. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Wow. After you, after you, uh, Adam just gave us another reroll. So if you want, we're up to three again. If you want to reroll it without pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. I'll, I'll take a reroll. Right, back down to two. Go for uh, it. So I'm cradling this so poor sad. furry creature that called me father. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> don't think that's quite how that works. All right. We got one success. I'll push that to see. Because, all right. So is one success enough to stabilize and like extra gives um, uh, one like success back? Yes. One success is he is not going to die now. Any additional successes would give him back, in this case, the spots of All strength. Right. So. so in that case, then I'll push this. He's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Ooh, buddy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's we got some it. successes. So you are no longer dying. Um, and, okay. okay, you're you're still suffering the effects of the injury, but you're not dying any further. And you just got one point of strength back. So you can actually start doing stuff again on your turn. I just want to say, though, because I'm a gorilla and I don't know my own strength, I bandaged your arm so tight, it's going numb. More numb than the gunshot. <laughs> You're going to get some compartment syndrome. Okay. <laughs> so, we've got a couple more left. So, I think they're going to continue. You're going to see them continuing firing. One of them is going to fire over at Ringo. Uh, and succeed, and then the next one in order is going to... You're gonna... rolling so well with those lasers. Sorry. And I think the next one is going to fire at Cujo, but Cujo, you're going to have extra cover. Yeah, do you want to give me a rating for the cover I'm taking? Uh, Probably three. So add that to your armor and roll all that together. How many Jesus drones Christ. are left, Jeff? Uh, four. One of them is smoking, though. One of them looks like it's on the verge of going down. That's the one that Hamill, uh, Hamill shot. Uh, okay. Um, they don't actually have a ton of health, <laughs> uh, but they can hurt, especially when they're keeping at range. So if anyone's got ranged weapons, now's the time to use them. Uh, Bassy. Yeah. I think I got bopped. I think I'm broken now. Go ahead and roll your crit injury. Because that deals... If only we had our two ranged characters that died last session. I know, I'm guessing, you're, are you adding the damage? Are you uh, just like, like doing yeah. four damage? Yeah, so it'll be or? four damage, yeah. Yeah, I'm broken. Eek. Okay, go ahead and roll it. I want someone to, I want, I want someone to get that instant death like Ashley got last week. I no, swear to God, if I die, so I'm going to be so sad. sad. I thought it was great. I thought it was wonderful drama. Yeah, it was quick and painless, unlike the death you gave to uh, oh, Jesus, what's his face. Jesus, man, these lethal injuries. This like the past two sessions are four going hours. Nuts. So, hey, it's tough going into that labyrinth. Uh, all right, so uh, Bassy. That's me. I keep forgetting. Hour. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm a scavenger, right? Yes. So I took the weapons collector. Um, trait, so I can scavenge for weapons with a plus two mod to my roll. Okay. So I would like to look for a ranged 
weapon. Okay. So take plus two, make so that roll. So this is your action. Scaven- so you're rolling your test. Yeah. Okay. Look for search an AK forty seven. Yeah, search for <laughs> is like there a bolt a rocket action. Launcher? <laughs> <laughs> Two okay. successes. Okay. There you go. Um, so, oh. so does them, that mean I can get a weapon and it's a permanent weapon? Mm-hmm. I believe so, so. You should be able to, like, I, I do have skills handouts and such. Um, so you're specifically using scavenge. So scavenge, yeah. uh, an extra success can provide a better weapon. Every extra success increases the gear bonus up to plus two, weapon damage up to three, or range by one level. Um, one success is required to make the weapon more durable. So you can choose how you want to spend it. It could either be temporary but have better stats, or it could be uh, more durable but have like just generic stats. Ooh, we'll go temporary better stats. Okay, so do you want a uh, better gear bonus, so more dice to roll, or do you want higher damage? Uh, gear bonus. I need more dice for okay. range. So go ahead and take a sling, and then when you when you put it in your once once it's in your character sheet, hit the edit button and just increase the the gear bonus by one. Uh, sling. And don't forget, by the way, that take aim is a thing that you all can do with maneuver. You can kind of aim and increase your your bonuses, uh, the amount of uh, so dice you get and everything. I can't. Uh scavenge and also shoot right no you can you can okay. prepare your weapon however we- preparing okay. your weapon is a maneuver and you do need to do that for a ranged weapon so you can do, that, do that this then. this turn but just remember that once you've prepped it you can't do anything else but fire in your next turn or take aim got it okay so okay uh so then you're you're done that drone's dead we got one more drone that's coming in the direction of uh, Penrose and Bassie. I think Bassie is the only one not taking cover, and is also the one that did damage. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and attack you, I think. That makes sense. So it's going to shoot down at the new folk, and that's three successes. <laughs> Jeez. You are rolling. I am rolling. Where are these for us? Lasers. I am rolling rocks tonight. Uh, God. That's, oh. I'm going to need to see the GM stats versus player stats that's not in this, uh, Forge. That's not important. That's <laughs> not important. You see, now you see why I like Foundry so much. <laughs> that could totally Does it actually tell you stuff like that? No. No. No, no not at all. And that's um, just the paranoia of new dice. So, I mean, you and Ashley are rolling pretty decent as well overall. So, okay, but yeah, but I'm gonna die if I get hit again. I'm looking at what else I can do for stunts really quick. So, for shoot, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn a st- so one of my st- so two damage. And I'm going to have one, one of my stunts, rather than just doing all four damage, I'm going to have one of the stunts knock the weapon out of your hand. So Wait, Did you move from cover? That would have been four damage. Uh, Bassy wasn't the one who was healing you. It was Penrose. Yeah. yeah. I'm asking, isn't Penrose getting shot right now? No, it's Bassy. No, me. No, Bassy is. Oh, I thought, okay, so I thought you said Penrose. Bassy, take two damage. And then for my two stunts, I'm going to do one point of fatigue to you as well, and I'm going to knock the sling out of your hands. And your okay. initiative score is reduced by a point as well. So you are now. I was already last. Isn't that three stunts? <laughs> no, you weren't. Uh, no, I had I have one success and two stunts, and so I burned two stunts. One stunt was to do fatigue, and one stunt was to knock a was to knock a weapon out of her hand. The base okay. damage of the weapon is two. All right. You could have killed me outright. I could, but like that's no fun. Uh, sorry, it should be Cujo next. Got to give you all a fighting chance. Um, well, I'm busted, so I'm just probably like, I I can't take like a healing potion again if I'm. I don't know why not. Why not? You have them. Take them. It's the last bastion of of Helena. I can still like heal myself even if I have a critical injury. Don't I have to like have my critical injury healed before I can heal my health? Oh, that's true. You did just take a critical injury, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can. Uh, you can. I think make a critical in- You can make a heal test on yourself. Um, yeah, I think that's my only ch- thing I can actually do right now. But I think either that or crawl to Penrose if you know where he is. I'm not getting outside this cover. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I think it's uh, more difficult though for you. I think you take a negative modifier for trying to heal yourself. Um, yeah, 
tell me it. Minus two. All right, let's let's do it. So, I got a one in six chance. Okay. There we go. Easy. Easy clap. We've got two rerolls if you want to use them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna push it first. Oh my! Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. So I take one uh, instinct damage, whatever that's called. Doubt. Uh, is heal. No. Heal. Is it confusion or is it doubt? I always get confusion and doubt confused. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. Yeah. That's right. my turn. Okay. Uh, Did you want to reroll? No. All right. I think Ringo at this one point. One in six is poor enough. I think Ringo at this point will turn around at, uh, since you all seem to be struggling. Instead of chasing after Truffaut, we'll actually try to lend a hand. Um, he'll load up. Yeah, he'll load up. Um, he'll load up his sling with one with a maneuver, and then he'll attempt to shoot. Uh, so. quick so he'll try to shoot at the one that's hovering over um over top of Cujo, and he will hit for one point of damage um and then let me go ahead and roll armor <laughs> and i block the damage of course i do all right so but right now we'll say ringo is next to Cujo. duel of uh, fates between jeff and jeff and then <laughs> mcleod you can do stuff what do you want to do I'm going to continue my descent. Now, I want to remind you all that there's one thing that you can do is you can try to flee. We guys, you guys don't really do this very often. Normally, you stay in fight to the, to the bitter end. But you can attempt to flee, uh, which is effectively kind of rolling a move test to try to get out of combat and try to get away from them and outrun them and all that kind of stuff. Um, it does. It is going to be negatively modified by a ability that they have but you could potentially do it so it's rolling a move test and then you have like a minus one mod because they're relatively fast but not as fast as the others and you can try to just get away instead of can you uh, do that while you're critically injured no because you can't roll skill tests so you have to you have to save the critically injured people before you or you leave them and they just die just leave me so Leave McLeod, me in my busted intestines. If you wanted to, you can just get the hell out of here. You can try. You can try to roll. I can your try. Brain. It's gonna be unlikely, but it's the only thing I can do right now. Or you can stick it out. It's up to you. I can't even stick it out because I don't range open. So I'm fleeing. Okay. So how far away is the enemy? Uh everyone's at they're all kind of at short range. So they're all like thirty within thirty. So go ahead and roll. Just a move test. You said minus one mod. Minus one mod because they have a quick flyer ability. So all you need is the one success to get away. So roll it. Do you want to push? Or do you want to use one of the two rerolls? Uh, We're not going to have any rerolls left for a strategic turn just to keep ourselves alive. We might not even get to a strategic turn at this rate. Hmm. <laughs> No, if I push, I'm gonna go down. You can do one of the, there's two free rerolls. Do you want one? Rerolls. Run away, run away, reroll. Tell their story. All right. I will reroll. Okay, go for it. Oh, <laughs> You try to oh, get away. As you're running away, you hear the sound of the laser fire just shoot in your direction, and a rock in front of you explodes, and you quickly kind of dive back down into cover, uh, hoping to uh, to avoid it again. Uh, okay. Um, the first of the, the drones is still sort of tracking Truffaut and Hamill, um, who have at this point kind of slowed as Hamill, you're trying to shoot it down and you almost have. Uh, so this one's going to still attempt to shoot down at you and Truffaut again, five to six is going to shoot you and it is going to shoot you again. Uh -oh. So this target, this is actually going to go at you and not him. Uh, that's one success. So that's two points of damage. Oh, I think so I, I am going to shoot. activate my small forgot to do the gear one sec 
There's should be three more dice. One, two, three. Uh, and yeah, you're okay. So it's still just the one. Okay, so one success. So I'm gonna spend one uh, feral point to neutralize that success. Okay, done. Roll your d6 for your feral activation. All right. Two. You're good. Uh, so then it'll come to your turn now. You have, you still have okay. your sling. So well, I still have the revolver. Yeah, um, the revolver now. Yeah. So what I am going to do? Um, so I'm going to spend two feral points, one to make that my enemy, and the other to give me a plus one um, in the shooting of it. Okay. So I've got to roll my two d sixes. Yep. Can't wait for this to go well. <laughs> You're okay, two twos. I'm okay. All right, so go ahead. So now I'm gonna shoot the revolver with a plus one. Here, revolver. Where'd it go? There it went, modifier one. Come on, roll well. Gosh, freaking darn it. Do you wanna re-roll? We have one more left. Yeah, redo it, use it. We gotta kill these things or we're gonna die. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Working on it. Okay. There we go. That sort of. I, I do. I do have to roll its armor. So let me roll its armor first. So right now you're doing three damage to it. I'm assuming you're doing yep. an extra one for damage. Yep. Uh, its armor Ooh. failed, and this thing. You see a small explosion, and then it just veers down to the ground and crashes. And so there's two now that are dead. Three left. Um. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Listen, <laughs> hey, scumbag, pay to win, Derek. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to kill Hamill there on that. I meant to. Go. <laughs> there we go. All right, Penrose. It is now your turn. You've sit. You've know. You've stabilized your patient. Time now, to stabilize did I, your next patient. I was about to say, <laughs> did I notice Cujo go down, or was this obstructed from my view? Uh, you would have, yeah, I would say you, you would have seen him getting shot at. Sure, and you can okay. see that there's a lizard that's kind of in the in the same area as as Cujo as well. About He's, how far away are they from myself? Uh, I would say that they're within sort of short range. You can get there in a maneuver. Cool, and if so, I could maneuver. And since Cujo is already taking cover on his just from his own turn, would I be able to move and? Do we yeah. heal them with no problem? Cool. I'm yeah, going to do fine. that then. Okay, so you run up. Go ahead and roll your heal yeah. test. Yeah, I just got to throw that modifier. Wow. All right, let me push. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. There you go. That's a nice push. So, uh, Cujo, you are no longer you are no longer broken, and you have, you're no longer dying, I should say, and you're, you got one health. <laughs> okay. Or you're, hang on. One second. I gotta look I'm just like really quick. frantically sweating. Like, um, can you all stop dying, please? <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah, we've <laughs> just met. <laughs> I didn't mean to put that in the chat. Uh... So I'm a little bit confused based off like. Yeah, I'm reading. So it's it's lethal in X amount of time, but it, the healing time is longer. Yeah. So healing time is the time it takes for the effect of the injury to go away okay okay so the death is means you could die from it and so that's you are no longer in th you are no longer threatened from dying um so this is basically what he was able to just do um i just wanted to double check one thing healing's a little different in vessin which we've been playing a lot lately so my my remembrance is not great so logan to what you were saying um Someone can roll to heal you during the process to cut the remaining healing time in half, which is a different roll yeah. from the one that Derek just did. So he just did save a life, which is what heal can, which would heal does, of course, as I go to search for it. So let's see. So this is these little, um, each person trying to heal can gain plus one since to kill. All right, just go ahead and take a point back. I think we're doing that slightly wrong, but go ahead and take one point back, and we'll say you're not broken uh, so we can move on. Um, all right. Uh, so then it'll be the drones will go next. One of them is going to continue to fire down at old Ringo. 
uh, who has bravely come back to help. Uh, that misses. The other is going to go fire at... Uh, it's going to start flying in the direction of uh, where Penrose and Logan are as well, uh, or Penrose and Cujo, and will attempt to say go after Penrose because just ran across. That misses, and then uh, it'll be the third one's turn because they actually are now in a row. Um, this one is over by Basie, uh, and we'll shoot at Basie, and we'll hit for two damage at Basie. Okay, uh, my strength's all gone. Okay, so you collapse to the ground as well, <laughs> right as your turn comes up. Help. Yeah. Help! Do I need to roll for... Critical injury. Instant death. That's Oh, that would be heartbreaking. We do have three rerolls left, so if something goes really bad, you can always use them. Oh, I just did that for one reroll to keep for the strategic turn. That's basically what those lucky charms are for. No, You just lethal. got some broken fingies. That. Just shot your fingers. Okay. Uh, Cujo, you're up. You actually can do something if you want. I don't know what you can do since you're. Uh, I'm gonna user. eat another healing potion. Oh goodness! All right, so go ahead. Don't roll a one this time. I'm just chugging them down. That's a maneuver, by the way. There hey, go. there we go. Get all your health back, all your strength. He's supercharged, nice. right? That's how that works. Yeah, he's what's got your, twelve. He's got twelve strength. What's your action? <laughs> what do you want to do for your action? Uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna try and escape. Okay, now. so roll a move test uh, minus one on your mod. Can you just put in minus one on modifier to have to take it out yes, of something else? Yes, that's exactly okay. what it's for, yeah. Okay. Okay. All righty. And you do, like, now that you've been healed from broken, drank a couple of heal pots, <laughs> you get on your skis and go. <laughs> yep. Uh, McLeod. I, I just, like, flick a little coin for the dock as I'm on my way out. You know, <laughs> payment for your troubles. Okay coin for your healer. Uh, McLeod, what do you want to do? I'm going to keep trying for this flea roll here. Same thing. Oh, wait, that, that's good. That is good. And so you also managed to get away as it's the one that was attacking you turned around to shoot Basie and then you left Basie. Okay. So, um, Back to Hamill. What do you so, want to do? I shot down the one that was right by us. Mm -hmm. So we can also just run away. You could. You can look back and you can see that your uh, your allies are in a bit of trouble. Uh, so there, is there one left? There are three left, in fact. Oh crap! All right, I will. Um. Can tap the same him thing on the before. shoulder and he'll he'll poof, 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 turn around and start moving you. You're like, All right, I will change my target and do another one again. So I'm gonna roll two more. Okay. Hope that I don't go crazy. Posture check. You're good. That's no, I'm fine. So I'm gonna shoot the revolver. You don't have to load, by the way. Your revolver's got six bullets, so you don't have to revol You don't have to reload after each shot. With okay. Them. So you can use your maneuver if you want to like take it and get another plus one. Oh. I'll do one more for whatever that's gonna be worth and not get You wanna push? Yeah. You know I'm gonna ask these questions. You gotta have an answer for. Them. <laughs> oh, hey! There you go. Okay. Uh that thing you so the one that's hovering over top of Penrose and and Ringo and Logan just explodes as as Cujo's running away from it. And He's moving on his on his skis, and above you, Kuja, you can hear this explosion. You just keep going, and you get out of get out of dodge. Now there's two that are dead, or two that are left. The real me. question is, do I turn around to look at it? And the answer is no. No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> uh, Penrose, you just saw one explode. You can look over. You can see there's this little weasel sitting on top of a giant bear that just fired the revolver and exploded it. Um, yeah, the weasel's now flying backwards from the recoil. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> There what is a loaded sling on the ground you next see, to me. There's, you see two bodies on the ground. You see Basie, your 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 sister, and you see a rat uh, a few yards away as well that looks to be in pretty terrible condition. Uh, I make a beeline straight for uh, Bassie. Okay, so you just run and back. I'll do a heal. Go for it. Just do my class. 
And yet the and yet the Oh my god. Wow. You wanna burn one of them rerolls? Yeah, might as well. They're, they're, I'm just gonna take them all out and just gonna kill all of your that's right resistance. <laughs> Fate refused to be changed. Hey. <laughs> Alright, so same deal. Uh and then one of one of the drones now is going to turn um away from Basie and Penrose and look over into the direction of Truffaut and Hamill after that massive explosion and they're gonna fly in your direction uh, then they're gonna fire down at you all uh, this one's gonna go on to Hamill again uh, as opposed good to good thing you're small that's keep... two successes alright I'm gonna spend two more FP okay how much so FP do you have left here? Two more of these. I was full up. Um, I think I have three left. That's a six. Shit. Yeah, actually, it's a, it's a one. It's I a one. Say. <laughs> yeah, it's a one and a six, but it's still a one. Yeah. So go ahead and roll your feral effect. Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, I don't remember where to find that again. It's in the uh, usual yeah, yeah, tables. Yeah, I found it. It's the same one I you already, already have. already suffering from that. Yeah. Okay. We'll say it adds <laughs> so a day. another day. We're going to say it adds a day. Talking. Yeah, we'll say that. Uh, okay. Um, but you're okay. Uh, then the other one. And I did actually shoot. Oh, uh, no, that was just. You were a, defending. Yeah, sorry. That's right. Uh, and then the last of the drones um, is going to shoot down at Ringo some more. Actually, no. The one over at Ringo exploded. Uh, we'll say another one goes over and shoots at. Shoots at uh, Let's see. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and just shoot down at uh, at Ringo. We're all, uh, Hamilton was on Cujo's shoulders, in fact. I totally forgot about that. All right, so Ringo's going to take a shot, but two damage he can take. But not much more. All right, so that's the end of that, that their turn. Basie, it's back to you. You can do stuff again. There's two more left. Um... You can run away. You can stay and fight. What do you want to do? Oh god. Uh, can I like snatch this is it a thing to pick up the weapon again? The sling I had? Yep. It's a maneuver. Okay. Uh yeah, so then I'll maneuver to pick that up and shoot because Penrose is right next to me. You won't be able to You, have to you gotta prepare breathe. the weapon. Oh. Yeah. Oh again. Reload. You, you have yeah, to reload. Well, it, yeah. Because it got shot out of your hand, so you, you can fire you it next it. turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kuja's out of it. McLeod's out of it. It's back to you, Hamill. Okay. Um, Two more of these things left. All right. I will just shoot this time. Okay. You can take a maneuver to take aim. Don't forget. Add your plus one. Keep blasting them. Boy, if Oops. only you had that EMP oh. rifle, which bypasses armor and does great damage to these drones. Or I could just roll. I'm like sorry that. that Logan called out some obscure <laughs> rule that we didn't care about. It's an important <laughs> rule, though. So, but, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will roll its hey, armor just to be sure. You don't need no stinking EMP. Yeah. Uh, so it'll get rid of one damage, but that's still not enough as you destroy another one. I do. And I think at that. All right, Annie Oakley. Hamill's tired of the zeros and was just going beast. I think mode. of that, you're going to see the last remaining drone begin to fly off uh, and back towards the vent, seeing all these other drones. Um, and it's going to kind of leave the battlefield in its chaotic and terrible state. So let's take, a, take stock now as this last one flies away and just retreats from the battlefield. Um, I think the, there's one person that's left and who is in a pretty terrible state, and that is the rat that you all saved. Yeah. Otherwise, everybody else I think is healed from from critical injury. So I'll make my way over to the rat and uh, attempt okay. to heal them. Wow, you're crazy, man. Uh, yata. Wow. All right. Well, the rat's dying. I'll pick him. I'll pick him up and carry him in case he has okay. some more time for me to check later. Okay. And I pull out a uh, pull out a silver handkerchief with like gold stitching on the edges and just like wipe my brow because <laughs> I got a, quite a sweat worked up. All right. <laughs> so we'll say 
with the drones defeated or flown off that you start to collect the different injured Kujo, you get Hamilton back into your arms, uh, Hamill and Truffaut, you get back together. You got these apes that are chasing after McLeod, who's trying to snowshoe away. And everyone's just sort of like hastily making a, just a crazy retreat down the mountain. Um, and we'll say that everybody probably maybe 20 minutes until all of you have to one by one, you start seeing people just slow, finally slow and just, and you look around and you've got new people here. You've got people that are injured, uh, but you find some small little alcove, this little cave. Uh, it's not deep or anything. It's just sort of out of the, out of sight. And you finally get a chance after a very long time now of getting shot at for a while to, to catch your breath. Um, and so those of you that are that have been have been running and just escaped, you look over and you can see that these two apes, one of whom has frog legs, uh, <laughs> are staring. I at forgot about you all. That. Just an abomination. And you hear you hear Truffaut uh, say to Hamill, after what you've done with a revolver, he's like, hmm, like I want it back, but. You kind of know what you're doing, so um, there's not many bullets left, though. Why well, not just? I'll take this, and you can keep the rifle. Okay. okay. Um. Thank you. Um. Sorry if I shot it too close to. Your... Oh, that's right. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I feel like you're like. Yeah. He's just like. Um. Okay. Cool. Pats you on the head. <laughs> um, ball of jittery energy. And, uh, oh, I thought there were two new apes. Be like, you guys saved our furry asses back there. I didn't think we'd make it out. Uh, Penrose is going to go up to Bassie and just like look at her legs and then like look at her confused and like, what? What? I don't. What did you do? Oh no, I concentrated. The legs. I. There's no. Are your legs green? Yes. And there's no hair. What? I. I'm like Never furiously looking. Again. I'm looking through my pack furiously, and I'm like, I don't. I can't fix this. What did you do to yourself? Why are you so reckless? Mm, and she'll like stretch a leg out and then like wiggle her like webbed toes. Ew! I'd say pretty nice. <laughs> Dear God. Uh, and I'll look at uh, McLeod and pat him on the head and give him like a small morsel of food. And you know, you, you lost a lot of blood and unfortunately only waiting can kind of uh, let the body reconstitute its supply. So eat something and sit and rest. I'll sit down on a nibble and nothing again. So while you're here, you can hear like this wheezing, horrible, painful cough coming from the rat. <laughs> and blood just kind of squirts out their mouth. Can we try? How much time again? do they? I was going to say, how much time do they have? I think it was two hours. Him? I was scrolling back up to double check. I think it's two hours. So it was only, okay. only been about a half an hour. Or it's actually, no, it was four days. They have time. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, so how often can I make a heal test since I failed? So since you've moved him to a safer specific location, um, I'll let it happen. I think it's once a day though. I'll double check, but you can do uh, it. You can okay. do it now if you want. Um, okay. I'll do another. Uh, well, actually first, can I to, if we're in a safe spot, can I do an animal behavior to restore the instinct that I lost before I make that heal test? It just gives me more dice. Actually it says each person trying to heal can only roll once. Uh, so you are not capable actually you can't roll again for the to save from death oh jeez um, somebody else can try to do it you could take them to an npc to try to do it that kind of stuff uh but no they okay. are, that you actually can't. They have four is days. that once is that once for each person you're trying each, to heal or just... it's each person trying to heal you can only do once like all of you can attempt it but all of you can only attempt once is that like per session or is that per just, person we're trying just to heal? Just once. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could we do like if I instructed somebody, they get like a plus one bonus because my hands are too big for a rat. But if I instructed Hamill, who's much smaller. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure. Okay. So take a um, plus one mod. Two dice. Yeah, there you go. Plus one. Now you got three. <laughs> All right. I was like, um, little furry thing that doesn't have much to say. I, my, my hands, I couldn't. Can you? reach in this wound it's it's not gonna be pleasant but i need you to move this bone back into place and she's just gonna be like just poking <laughs> oh no no don't agitate <laughs> and i'll shoo hamill away and i'm like well we'll have to get him somewhere where they can help so i'm gonna push it just for the heck okay. of it. oh as she hides behind his back and does it again you do manage to to do whatever it is that Penrose instructed you to do, and you can hear that the breathing suddenly becomes a little bit better, and they seem to be... They're not... They're still broken, but they're not dying anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. So, while you're here, you can see the sunset is starting to, to kick up as, as evening is, is approaching. Um, so it's going to be dark fairly soon. Uh, this is a decently protected area from the elements. Um, but, I mean, Tru Truffaut comes over to the two apes um, and kind of gives you a peculiar look. Uh, and then you hear a second later, he enunciates both your names. And uh, and he says, uh, I think uh, my niece mentioned something about these two uh, wily ape friends of hers. You all know Wild Paul? Yeah. All right. We've had interactions, yes. And so you would know uh, that while Pa, the last time, like, the last time you spoke with her, which is very, very recently, and it's one of the reasons you're kind of coming off in this direction, uh, she was she was headed to, to Rat Castle, so the rat habitat. And we would just let him know. Hmm. Okay. We gotta figure out where we're going next, and... So everyone take a breath. Let's get some rest, get some food. And then we'll first light, we'll get the hell out of here. Sound good? Uh yes, uh I think that would be best for everybody. Uh there's a lot of hits that were taken. Will I be able to do the animal behavior overnight to restore my instinct? Uh, I just, I guess gorillas do a lot of like grooming. And since I'm the yeah. eldest sibling, I'll just like yeah. fuss over uh, Bess yeah. Bassy. No, you just <laughs> pop down in front of me and I start cleaning you. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it just takes, I think it's that in a couple of hours. And then don't forget that if you have, if you have food and drink, you can, you can drink additional stuff. As long as you have the hours, which at this point you do. So you all, if, if you have the rations of water and food, you could eat your one ration and drink your one water like normal, but then you can drink additional food and drink on top of that to heal back fatigue and damage as well. So keep that in mind. As, yeah, I'll do additional okay. food fuel. So just, I totally forgot to roll a D6 for my food and water when I made the character. I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah, go for it. So just make sure you're putting them in the consumable section because it does actually add up and count towards your, your, um, your encumbrance. But... Um, Night passes. Uh, during the Oops. night, um, you know, various conversations unfold, and you can see that Ringo and Truffaut start muttering back and forth to one another. You can, you see that Badger Hedgeduck is is sort of trying to get a little information from Hamill and Cujo about the state of affairs in the Badger tribe, of which um, you have plenty to tell. Uh, he's been gone for for several weeks you talk a little bit about chelios uh, hamill doesn't but cujo might um nero kind of comes to every now and then and he's um he's, he seems very confused and disoriented capable of talking unlike hamilton uh hamill the whole night you watch hamilton and he's just kind of sort of looking around peculiarly and uh more than once I would say, Hamill, you don't necessarily know who says this, but someone in the party around NPC, maybe one of your PCs, someone mentions, you just randomly over here to just put the boy out of his misery. You know, that type of thing pops up every now and then. Not cruelly, just, you know. Mm -hmm. So does anyone want to do anything? Anyone want any scenes during the night? Or do we want to move forward to morning? 
Uh, the only, not a scene per se, but <clears throat> the only thing that'll happen is uh, while I'm attempting to sleep throughout the night, since everybody just gets woken up at one point by like a blinding light that's emanating from Penrose, all of a sudden just starts completely glowing head to toe. Um, Penrose is completely immune to it, sleeps right through it, but I don't wake up either. Thing. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. And damn. Then, uh, damn. You see, like, Truffaut just like huddles, cuts up in front, and tries to block it. Damn, I'm gonna see you, boy. What the hell's wrong <laughs> with you? He's trying to block that. Uh, so like, because you guys are halfway up a mountain. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm. you can see that dead shift for miles. Um, okay. Anybody else want anything? All right. Uh, Hamill, yeah, Hamill will have noticed that because her, her thing she needs to do to get instinct back is to kind of like protect the current group. Mm-hmm. So she's going to be kind of keeping watch. And so she'll have like seen it hurt your foe and just sort of like jump on top of it, just trying to All right. block the light. Morning comes. Y'all get your food, your rest. And Truffaut will, um... All right. Well, we sure as hell can't head back to the copter. That chopper was swarming with sentinels. They were going to be... Got to figure out some other place. I'm open to ideas. I look... Penrose looks at the rifle. Who has the rifle? So Hamill looks at the rifle. You too would know, um, having probably recently spoke with Wild Paul, like I said, like she was heading to Rat Castle for a reason. Like you know that yeah. it was resistance business for something. She probably didn't have time to explain it all, but her job specifically was to try and stitch together and keep the resistance from fracturing once news of Truffaut's abduction take goes around. And so you know that she was on resistance business heading to Rat Castle for reasons. Um whatever that might be. Um, and likely that's where she probably still is. Um, so, but he, Trufo's kind of open to discussion at this point. Well, I don't know about permanent residence, but we should probably go to Rat Castle. Yes. Do you know if there's a place and uh, Penrose will point to the rifle wherever it is. And he's like, we, we should have been using that when we were fighting the, the drones that would have gone right through them. I'm assuming, do, is there a place we can... I'm assuming it's broken. Does it need to be fixed? Can we do that at the Rat Castle, too? Uh, I mean, that's, uh, that's the old one's tech, man. Uh, I ain't an expert on that. But uh, I know that uh, they, they use that, that power. Same thing that powers the fences and same thing that powers the drones that fly about and such. I reckon... You know, if we want to get that thing working again, probably got to, you know, find one of their gizmos or gadgets or and hope for the best, something like that. Uh, as a scavenger, aren't I supposed to start with, like, one thing off of the um, artifact table? Uh, let's take a look. I don't recall off the top of my head. Yeah, neither do I, actually. Um, so... No. Oh yeah, you can also draw. It's a random artifact card. It's random. Okay, that's can I? Yeah. See so, what I get. Uh yeah, let me pull up the list. Um, I don't have the table together yet. Um, but you can okay. go ahead and roll. So, um, do roll one d six times ten plus d six. That's a that's a d sixty six. And who? Because <clears throat> the uh, Chai's wagon had made it through or made it past his death, so who inherited the like random items that were on? I think there was. Yeah, I'm trying was, to. Yeah. Well, Wait. Plus what? So one d six. One d six. One d six. One d six times ten plus another d six. Okay. All right. The we're... only thing that was worth scavenging off chai was the bow the cigarettes and then one use of a kerosene lamp okay all of that is in mcleod's possession at this point okay cool right. 43 you have a mm-hmm. nail gun Daisy. oh, oh nice. nice would have been useful in that fight actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was just reading over my stuff and i was like yeah. oh go ahead and, uh, and it's in the artifact um go ahead and look in the artifact folder uh okay um all right so thoughts on where to go next so sounds like the rat castle to me narrow is is 
kind of looking up and you know he's got a he's wounded and such but Ringo uh, will pipe up at this point perhaps I should go back to the, the terrarium inform search of uh, of the death of our friend uh, Tchaikovsky it seems that uh, they were very close and uh, the uh, habitat will want to know this is something I can do Unless it is something you would prefer to do yourselves. Uh, Hamill can't speak, um, but Hamill... I have no idea who you're talking about. (laughs) So Hamill will just sort of go over to Ringo um, and just sort of like look sad and kind of shake his hand, um, which is sort of her way of like thanking him for that um, because that was her buddy that was lost. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can have the singing bass fish that I was that was in my wagon. That is true. There's also that as well. So, um, so yeah, all the things we've already found. So there's bow and arrow, one more use of a kerosene lamp, uh, the bass and then a carton of cigarettes and a carton of cigarettes. Yeah. Okay. So, but Cloud, all at all that, those are all in the artifacts except for the the bow. What's in there? Too? That's a different bow and arrow. That's not what he oh, has. Okay. He has a regular bow and some arrows. So just get that from basic gear. The bow and arrow and artifacts is like something from, you know, Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> oh, like a like a compound. Yeah, it's like an it's ex- extra good. I have no idea why there's like this annoying little white something on the top of like Melissa's frame. And it's pissing me off. I don't know why it's showing up. And oh, that like text? I don't know why it's there. Like there's no text over top of it. It just looks really strange. Weird. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. So um do you all want to do anything about helena guess we should like you don't have to do anything Hel- now she's dead so she ain't going anywhere. yeah <laughs> send, send her speak, send a raven said, to tell her sister we should inform her sister yes <laughs> and then tell that cop that was chasing her that uh her dying words were i want him to know it was me <laughs> I think they did. I think they did know it was her. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys about that though. Uh, yeah, we oh, had no we, idea. We, we just know you. you guys, we knew the whole time. Just right. uh, it says online friends. Online you friends. you would sleep talk. You would confess to your sins in your sleep all the time. Yeah. We just didn't want to use it against you since you were our healer. So yeah, at some point we should go by the cat. By the cat tribe and inform the leader that her sister has passed. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that now or do you want to do that sometime later? You have a lot of you are together. The cat, you know, that the cat habitat, the cat, the, the cabin village is the closest to where you just came from. You yeah, know, that cat first. you can look up the mountain. You can see that there are drones that are swarming in droves now. So it's not super, you know, so it's a question of whether you want to go there knowing that the closest habitat is the cats and the drought and the drones are flying about so you'd be potentially having to deal like do like sneak tests and stuff like that or you can try to go somewhere else i would like recommend going further away okay you didn't even know helena how dare you exactly all i know is wild paw and i'm like yo She's at the Rat Castle, and there's some biz happening. Yeah, I don't think we need to go to the Cat Tribe immediately. Okay. So where do you want to head to? Sounds like meeting up with Wild Paw is a good idea. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you start traveling. Um, at a certain point, like, Hedge Duck will say... Um, Maybe I'll just go, you know, uh, or do you want me? Uh, I suppose I can come with you since y'all saved me and such. So I can, I can help you or I can, I am itching to get back. It's been a while, you know, but yeah, I can go. If that's what you want. Yeah. He's the badger. Right? Yeah. He's the badger, but it, like, you guys saved him. He's fairly, he's like, he doesn't really have, he's still wearing like a pillowcase as, as his clothes. So, you, you know, you're kind of, He's a hunter, so he probably knows how to get back. But at the same time, he doesn't have anything. Do you want? And we also have Hamilton that 
we're just kind of hanging on to. So there's that too. Yeah. What do you want to do with them? We could have uh, Bassie scavenge for a weapon and then you could, yeah, go back to the Badger tribe. Yeah, but what about Hamilton? Should we just like make a pop off to the Badger tribe then? That's out of the way compared to the rats and where we're at. Yeah. Um, we have them carry Hamilton back to the Badger tribe since they Yeah. Work. Yeah. Like, hey, we got a mission for you, boy. So we're going to send him by himself to carry this person. Well, I'm assuming Hamilton can walk. You can. You can. Remember, so it would like, just be like he is effectively kind of an abomination at this point, meaning like he's been lobot- lobotomized and tested on to a greater extent than Hedgeduck was, to a greater extent than Nero was. Does Hedgeduck have any noticeable signs that he was experimented on? Like, would the Badger Tribe notice? Uh, oh. He's got sutures um, and shaved areas, just like Nero. They both do. Okay, so then Penrose would actually like look at them both and be like. Hedge took. Where is it that you want to go back to? I want to you know, head back to my tribe and, and whatnot, you know. And uh, Penrose will put a hand up to his like temples and massage them. And he's like, yeah, you know, I understand. You know, that's your home, but, but you have to understand. Your people will be able to pick up on what happened, and even your appearance no matter how you how you try to cover it up like if you've been missing and you suddenly reappear there will be questions and you might be able to get by for a week or two but folk will start asking questions prying into your business they might shun you i it may not be best to go back to your tribe it's your choice but i'm just letting you know that people aren't so understanding once you've been experiments on yeah yeah I, I, i'll get you i, I understand uh, i don't i don't i don't disagree but I, I i never really much spent time in the burrows you know i i really spent time in the wilds and i, I those are the forests to know you know and you know if i gotta live out in the wilds and i gotta live out in the wilds it's fine i know what i'm doing but okay as long as you understand no I, 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 I'll, I'll be all right man i i can I, I can travel with y'all for a spell. It's fine. Like I, I can do that. It's all right. But uh, that is a good question, though. What we'll do with Hamilton, since Hamilton's kind of that's going to be a problem for you guys. I, <laughs> as the new member the of the do it. <laughs> huh, look at the rabbits, George. <laughs> She's already got the gun. Oh no. Oh, God. Helena would have offered to make you a potion. It's worked for her before. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what have, would have opened the gates for that. Yeah, uh, if we if we don't want to take Hedge... Bad. If we don't want to take Hedge Duke and Hamilton with us, then we could just say, like, Hedge Duke, survive in the wilds and take care of Hamilton and then try and catch up with them later. We need a new resistance home base that we can keep them in. We have to wait for Hamill to make this decision to his her brother. Yeah, I'm I'm the new guy to the group, so I'm just like, I'll just be I'm gone. Trying to fix the overlay really quick. It's really pissing yeah, me the... off. Yeah, oh, you're muted, Jeff. If you're Jeff, are you talking? Can you guys hear me? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, we, can, we can hear you. I'm trying to fix yeah. the overlay. It's driving me nuts. I have no idea where this writing coming from, and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> All right, but I didn't fix it, so never mind. Um, okay. So what do you want to do with what do you want to do with Hamilton? It depends on what our goal is. From an efficiency map perspective, we can go to the we can go to the cats, tell them about Helena, go to the badgers, which is what Hamill would want to do. That would be an idea. Um, the other thing that we could try to do is find our friend that was living in the middle of nowhere and see if she's willing to help oh, out Faraday? a couple new um, newly released folks that have been experimented on, um, since she also can't be a member of a habitat right now that could be an option to go back to faraday listen listen i know my way back it's all right just give me a you know if you got a weapon to spare a couple couple rations grub and water and i i mean y'all save me and i might not i might not think that well hamilton over here has got much left in him but uh 
Listen, if you want them back, I'll, I, I, I can get them there. You can trust it. You can trust me. I, I'll get them there. And uh, I'll tell you, if you you know that uh, the old meadow north of uh, north of the burrows and such, if you head out west a bit, there's this, this big old oak tree. It's uh, looks like it's dead. You know, it's got a flat top, like something just cut cut the top off it, nice and clean. I got a little got a little campsite up in the branches. You just come looking for us there when you're ready, and I'll I'll keep an eye on the boy for a bit. You, you can trust me. I can do it. Hamel, what do you think? Shake her horizontal for. Yes, and vertical for no. <laughs> I well, my answer will be that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna empty out um, two grub and two water, and hand it over. Okay, he looks at so it. that'll be my answer. All right. Well, and he'll go around. He'll shake everyone's hands. Thank you. Can I scavenge for a weapon? Yeah, go ahead. Three. Okay. You Just hand him a, him a straight up bazooka. <laughs> give him a pretty <laughs> badass. You know, like maybe a sling, pretty nice, reinforced. It's like one of those slingshots with like a metal handle. Yeah. And he, Ooh, uh, heck yeah. He thanks you, and he uh, he goes ahead and he uh, he heads out. And then uh, the rest of you, with Truffaut and Nero, head over to Rat Castle, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and speed it along, and the the travel to Rat Castle we'll say is is relatively uneventful. You're able to sort of dodge out of the way of the drones that are flying overhead. Uh, you get over to the inner fence that uh, that separates the rats and the cats, and it's kind of surprising to some of you that it's not, you know, not, you know there's, a, there's an active war between these two habitats, and then you find a way to cross over the river. There's a, on the northern side of the river, there's a bit of a, a stone path. You can all kind of hop across. And, uh, but eventually... You uh, you make it to uh, the gates of Rat Castle, and it's this old concrete building, uh, a couple stories high, crumbling, and there's all sorts of moss and such that's overgrown, uh, and you can see that there's um, there's a bunch of rats that are like set up as attention, you know, like they're there as guards, gating, you know, watching the gate, and you can see they they got their machetes ready on their on their waists and such, and they kind of take a look at you, and they took a look at. Bassy and Penrose, and, and they look up and they start they start saying your one of them starts saying your name. They look up at Truffaut. They're like, you Truffaut? He's like, yep. And he starts saying some others, and yeah, he's like, all right. Why don't you follow follow me? Uh, Small scabs is waiting for you. So it's your turn, you know. It's your, turns like come on let's go and uh very large kind of black fur little mangy uh, but leads you uh into this big building and you notice immediately upon entering that like it's suddenly kind of shaded and you look up and you can see it that in the interior of this building which has got this little atrium in the center and you look up normally you see the sky but there's like this long stitched over canvas that's crudely pieced together that seems to be covering uh, the inner workings of this. You look around, you can see that there's all sorts of little camps that some of them are, are, are out in the open. You can see there's cages set up. You can see cats uh, are in those, some of those cages here and there. You can see groups of squirrels, groups of hamsters, groups of large mice. And they're all kind of watching you as you're coming along. No one's really giving you any too dirty looks. They kind of look over at Bassy though, and they're like, Got this strange look on their faces, and one or two of them probably spit on the ground. And you probably overhear more than once, freaks, just a bunch of freaks coming on through. I don't know why she wants them. No, you don't want no freaks here, you know. Uh, but eventually, you uh, you are taken to this room where um, there's like a door and a couple more guards, and the two rats kind of exchange something, and then one of the guards that was watching the door opens it up says something inside and you hear something along the lines that they're here and you can see hurrying out of that door is wild paw and you can see she's sort of ducking a little bit underneath it's human sized doors and she comes over she and Truffaut have like this big like hug event and they're all you know Truffaut's kind of tearing up and such and then you can see following quickly behind Truffaut is the largest mouse any of you have ever seen 
albino, big red eyes, got this little kind of like sweater on, baseball cap. And uh, you can see that uh, there's some sort of gun on their holster, just sitting off to the side. And she looks up at you all and she says, We've been waiting for you. About time you got here. All right, come on in now. And she brings you in, she introduces herself as, as small scabs. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll end it there. And uh, we'll pick there up uh, with our uh, next session. But before we leave, we got to do our strategic turns. Technically, this would actually be happening right now. But oh, we'll, no. But we'll have this conversation. But we got to do our strategic turn so I can get my uh, my prep all set up. So let's do that. Y'all remember how to do this wonderful, fun stuff? Oh, yeah. We saw all I know. Out. I think I it's yeah, we water. rolled D6 and everything dies. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how it works. All right. If you look over in the journal... There is a strategic turns uh, folder. You got your resistance sheet, PC operations, and you got the walkthrough sheet. So you can go ahead and bring those up. Um, what you all need to determine is where you're going to to assign your cells. So you all, if you look at, if you look, at, we're on turn five. So you can see that you guys have a cell that's in the reptile tribe, and that's the. That's Bo uh, Boyer and the uh, and the frogs and the turtles that you recruited, and then you have uh, a cell in the bear tribe, uh, and uh, so you're gonna have to decide uh, how those go. So this guy kind of walk through this. Now, first, the first thing I need someone to do is actually roll two d sixes. They're gonna make this Helena or old Helena because it's a, a rat thing, and you were a closest connection to them because you were a cat. So go ahead and roll two d sixes, Ashley, uh, for the rat tribe. So your total is four. All right, I'll go ahead and punch all the numbers in so we don't have more than one person punching the numbers in. So that's actually going to kick the rat tribe up to 41. All right, that's for a different reason. That's just because suddenly Truffaut and a lot of the resistance members are here, and that's just going to naturally kind of increase the insurgency rating. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to determine, like, insurgency increase. Uh, so I think I, we actually might have already... Oh okay, yeah, this is from turn uh, turn five to turn six. So, um, so let's see. Uh, long roll d six for the uh, for the dogs. Everyone, so so five. okay, so that's gonna push them up to twenty six. Uh, Derek, roll roll, roll d six for the apes. Uh, two. All right. Oops. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ashley, you were once a cat. Roll a d6 for the cats. Three. All right. Uh, Logan, do one for the rats. Oh, boy. Uh, Melissa, do one for the rabbits. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Derek, do one for the reptiles. This is natural increase of insurgency just because of all the stuff that happens. Uh, Long Lee, do one for the bears. All right. And then Logan, do one for the badgers. Okay. So we've got insurgency rating up. Okay. So next thing we got to do is you have to plan what you want to do. So you have three cells to assign. You've got your bear cell. You've got your reptile cell, and then you've got your own personal cell. And remember that the bears and the reptiles will resolve them uh, with dice rolls, and then with yours, we'll resolve it as uh, <laughs> animals, uh, as uh, as like an actual story that we'll do next week or whenever we play again. Uh, so um, you should have the PC operations, and you have to decide what it is you want to do. You're only down to two NPC cells, so probably recruitment would be at least at least one recruitment would probably not hurt, not be a bad thing. Remember that in order to support a cell, a, a habitat has to have 50 population per cell. So if you look at the population numbers, make sure that you're you're accounting for that. So, like for instance. If you look at the bear cell, for instance, the bears, the bears have 80 and you already have one cell there. So you can't support a second cell. And then the badger tribe, you wouldn't want to have a second there because they're sitting right at 100. And if I happen to kill like one badger, then the whole, you, you would lose the whole cell. So just keep that in mind. So 
<clears throat> so where do you want to, what are you guys thinking about for your PC operations? Where do you want to send your bears and where do you want to send your reptiles? What do you want them to do? We'll have reptiles recruit since, or even the bears can actually, Never mind. just not in their own habitat. Just remember that when you can do it in your own and it's safer to do it in your own, right? Just, yes. So remember that when you, when you send somebody out, when you send us uh, an NPC, NPC cell elsewhere, it increases the danger because it means they're traveling. Mm, right. And so that means there's more danger dice that are being rolled. Uh, so you always have to be a little bit, a little bit conscious of that. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if we have the bears travel somewhere else and recruit, but they can't recruit within their own cells because yeah, right. of the population limit. Yeah, right. The reptiles think, can. Yeah, yeah, I think we should have reptiles recruit in reptiles, okay. and then we could have the bears do what recon maybe. Freedom murder. The mm. other thing I should tell you is that or you. No, all, I mean spreading the word. The other thing I should tell you is you all of death. Can, because of the previous turn, <laughs> automatically are getting a plus four to the dog tribe because you had sent the rats there to to uh, to do some recon and they were successful although they died. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but you do actually have a plus four on any operation that you run in the dog tribe this turn only. However, uh, how many are in the dog? Two hundred. There's enough. Yeah. It gets in the bears to the dog. You're 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 set yeah. on you're set on reptiles recruiting in their own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and if we sent the bears to recruit in the dog, that plus four could offset any minuses they face from traveling. But I'm also happy to have them do. What did you say, Ashley? Um, uh, spread the word. Spread the word. Don't forget. What does that, that do again? Don't forget that you uh, spread the word. Um, or, or I'm sorry. Don't forget that you guys also have to assign yourselves. I don't really no, think the plus four the does that. A week. It's only insurgency. Insurgency, insurgency is really good is, insurgency yeah. affects a lot of different things so if you look in the walkthrough um insurgency affects your chance to success and it also affects your domination roles and so different tiers so if a tribe for instance is at insurgency rating zero to 20 there's going to be a minus two modification to any chance of success for your operations and there's also going to be minus two to any dominate roles that you try to do while you're there um so the higher the insurgency rating the better yeah, but we're getting a plus four here. Well, we want to do something more risky, right? Since the bonus. I would, yeah, I would I mean, kind of lean toward that. Yeah, but we only have two. Already. Yeah. And we're already getting a minus two because we know they're traveling, right? Right. So you're traveling. So yeah. we only have a plus two left to play with. Why not demonstration? We'll get 2d6 insurgency. You tell me. I'm down. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Mathematically, I think that makes sense. Okay, so you want to send the bears to the dog tribe to demonstrate? Is that, did I understand that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So then, then we figure out where is it do you all want to go? Well, we're already in the rat tribe. Should we do something in the rat tribe then or do we want to go somewhere else it's up to you guys uh the rat tribe has a really good population we should yeah. probably try and get another cell yeah recruit so recruitment them. in the rat tribe okay. yeah because and they have a really good insurgent i mean a decent insurgency rating Okay. Cool. So, so two recruits and a demonstration. I okay. like it. So I've got those down. Uh, so now, so your 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 stuff's already sent. I've already done mine. Uh, and so now we're going to execution phase, and we actually start figuring out the results of like the NPC stuff. So let me pull up my sheet. Death right. and carnage. So what I did, <laughs> I raided the ape tribe. I raided the rat tribe. I massacred the rabbit tribe and I raided the badger tribe. Gosh! Yikes! In five what turns, I have I have massacred the rabbit tribe four times. Yep. I love just murdering rabbits. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just this is what I gotta do. Okay, so yeah. let's go ahead and resolve the ones where nothing's actually happening. So you sent the bears 
to go to uh, to go to the dog tribe to demonstrate. Um, now there's no one there, so there's no washer interference. Success chance, uh, the base success chance was eight. The danger was two. Then you had your plus four, so you're up to 12's chance to success. Uh, you did go behind enemy lines, uh, which means the target habitat borders the cell's own. It doesn't, so this is going to be increased by two. So the danger is there's four danger dice now. And then we got a But we negated that because of the plus four that we had? No, the danger, the, the plus four is for chance to success. It's not danger dice. So you you went from demonstration has a base chance of eight, but because you have a plus four, you're up to a you're up to twelve. The only other thing that's going to affect it is insurgency rating, which is going to be minus one because they're at a twenty one or something like that. So you have eleven, you have eleven d sixes to roll. So who wants? I, I think the dog, the guy, the only dog we have in the party should be rolling these. So long, long roll eleven. D sixes. No pressure, long. You need to get right. one six to be successful. I see two in my future. Invalid one. Eleven D six. Invalid future. <laughs> and you oh, got yeah, exactly one. one, which means Easy. that is a success. Now roll <sighs> four D sixes, and you want to avoid ones because if right, you get I'm a one, the bears are dead. ones. <sighs> Jesus Long, why are you doing this? You have two rerolls left. Oh, that's wait. not right. That's not. I was about to say, wait. What did you do? It's like, it was like zoomed in on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You avoided nice. it. Yay! The bears. Succeeded. Holy shit! They didn't die. Okay, so we're good on bears. All right. So then your other one was the reptiles. I did not send anybody to reptiles. Uh. So all right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. No, no one in reptiles. All right. So you're recruiting which has a base success of six and a danger of one. Uh, you are in your own, so there's no extra danger. Uh, and then the insurgency rating for reptiles is... 33 or 30? 30. What does it say? It's, well, it's turn five. Turn, 30, five. So. turn five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so 30 would mean that there's a minus one success chance. So it means there's five D6s. Uh, so Derek, I think you should do the honor since you were the only person who... Is there any bonus for recruiting in the same tribe, or did we already take care of that? Uh, no, there's just there's just not a negative. Just, just ne oh, just got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and you got a success. That is a hey. that is a successful recruit. Nice. And there's one d6 for danger, so just don't roll a one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so both of those are successful. Uh, hey, we actually did something. And I can go ahead and do all the numbers for the rest of the stuff that. You didn't send anything there anyway, so I can go ahead and resolve all of those for the watcher stuff, uh, and I'll add that to the sheet. But you now, starting next turn, will have a second reptile, and you will have a successful demonstration. And so the demonstration, what was the demonstration? What were you guys looking to do? There? 2D6. Oh, uh, like flavor text-wise? No, uh, I'm just looking for like, there it is. Uh, so demonstration is a public display of defiance and rebellion. And that's insurgency plus two d six. So, uh, kick the can. Somebody roll two d sixes for those that extra insurgency in the dog trap. Who wants to do it? All right, long get us two sixes. Or I'm Pick kicking you out. Two. Here we go. No, no, no. Two sixes. No, oh, okay. That's a pretty good roll. That's pretty good. Nine's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna increase the. Uh, that increases the uh, insurgency rating in the dog trap even further. 35, so not bad. Up to 35. That's a lot for dogs. Nice. Man. Dogs are usually pretty loyal. Loyal. All right. And <laughs> so I can do the rest of it. So we can we can bail. Uh, we don't have to worry about the uh, rat recruitment because we'll be taking care of that in next session, right? Uh, yeah. Your your specific thing is what I'll plan for next session, next time we play. Sweet. And we'll, right. we'll go ahead and schedule it off air. So let's close this down. <sighs> Luckily, didn't lose anybody else. It is very much like Watership Down. Wood. I can't wait for when they finally actually go to the rabbit tribe and all the rabbits hate them. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> You've been getting murdered left and right. The resistance, excuse me. That's, that's their fault for you living in the know. ass end of the tribe or the ass end of nowhere. They do live like yeah, way out. There. Only the bears are kind of next to them. 
Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to have a session when Hamill can actually talk again. <laughs> nah, let's, not let's not do that. Let's not do that. We can uh, have Ashley scavenge you a typewriter so you can type us messages. <laughs> All right. But I can't use tools either. So oh. uh, when are we playing next? Does anyone know? Uh, we know? I am off next Saturday. Okay. I don't think we can do Saturdays typically, though, right? It's... Saturdays we can do, but we have to do them early in the day. We usually, whenever we've done Saturdays, it's been like for Pacific time, four to six. So Let me can... check just real quick my yeah, schedule. I'm off next. I'm off the twenty fourth. Okay. Um, if we can't do the twenty fourth, the next available day would be the seventh. All right. Do we want to? Are we cool for are the rest of you? Cool for the twenty fourth? Looks like I'm working the next like four Fridays. So. Okay. Can we do next Saturday at four? I'm I'm cool with next Saturday at yeah. four. Ashley, I'll double check. I'm not 100, percent but I think so. Okay, so we'll we'll pencil it in for those of you in the stream or those of you watching the video next week. Just check uh, check Twitter at lollygeigerco. That's like the official. It's my my account, and I will post like when we're when we're playing and such. Uh, but right now, it sounds like next Saturday uh, we'll play. Uh, all right, other things. Um, come by on Monday, this channel. You can find Melissa and I. We're playing in an alien game that I'm running uh, with a couple of our friends. So check that out. That'll be at 9 Central. Um, dice and turn tracking, Christopher. I'm using... This is uh, this is Foundry VTT. So I've moved away from Roll20 with the exception of like my Zweihander games. Everything now is in Foundry for me. Um it's pretty amazing. Uh, DCC, I know you play DCC. Uh, that's your jam. They do have a DCC module. It's not as, I don't think it's as quite as robust as as this, but yeah. Oh. My dice are great. My dice are great. We talk about my dice were fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and let me start that again. So Monday, come back, Alien, 9 p.m. Central. You can watch Melissa and I as we're continuing that. Uh, you can also catch us, uh, so Ashley, Long, Melissa, myself, next Thursday. Uh, we are uh, we are going to continue our Zweihander game, which has aliens in it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, so come check that out. Um, and skin. Yeah. And then, Lots of skin. Yeah. Lots of, lots of skin. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, tomorrow night, uh, Christopher, who's in the channel right now, myself, I, I think, Christopher, you're playing in that, right? Uh, I think we're doing some Dungeons & Dragons first edition over on Notorious DMG TV. So you can come watch us play some old school shit. Uh, but that's a lot of fun the last time we played it. So, uh, But yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that's about it. So we're going to go into a raid. Uh, we've got a couple friends on right now, so we'll probably go raid. So if you want to hang tight, go for it. Uh, I'm going to put us on the end screen here in a second. I'm going to get the raid going. Uh, Thanks for watching. Who is up right now? Are the Fenders not up? Oh, no, they're on Zweihander tonight. That's They're on the Zvi channel, yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and raid. It's good old Zvi. So Bye, guys. Get that raid going. So Bye, the... Flames of Freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Go check Kickstarter for Flames of Freedom. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, all right. So, the switch is over to ending things. So, have a good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.